It's happening. Honey, this food smells and tastes delicious. No. Yeah, a little bit of Love. Green onions. Pull the barbecue. Hey, everybody. Hey, Kevin. Hey, everybody. Hey, Chris. Hi, Aloha, everybody. Hi, hi. Hey, Chris, again. <laughs> All right. I am just getting us shared out. Oh, my God, where to go? What is this? Yeah. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> what can I say? Cute little pupper. Oh, right. So, how's everyone's day doing? How you going? How's it going? I did not get anything to trip today, but I do want to look at everyone who's super invoices. You know, all probably just small more. And everyone else is just taking a nice and it's just more important for all of these Underwater. Not understanding a word you're saying. Great. Underwater. That's fantastic. Yes, it was. <laughs> and then, am I better? Now you're back. Can you repeat all that? I was just saying, if you've already paid your invoice, um, I didn't ship anything today. Everything is going out tomorrow morning. So if you pay your invoice tonight into tomorrow morning, it'll also get shipped tomorrow as well. Got it. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm trying to share this out. Okay, here we go. My um, computer's not. What are you doing? Why does that hurt my elbow? What are you growing? That's what that's what Andy's doing in my hallway. Oh my god. That is not what I'm doing. <laughs> This is what Paul is living. Whatever. Whole way living room is all the same thing, probably. Hi. Mm -hmm. right. It's a doorway. Is that better? Will you go out and go potty? Go potty, baby. Hello. Okay. Um, while I'm sharing this out, I'm going to throw Gina up. That way you guys aren't bored. Or what? <laughs> this just starts going. Oh, okay. Do magic tricks. Does it work? Um, All right. Get it, girl. All right. Let's start off with these plates. They're blue Nordic plates. It's a set of four, and it's a $12 start. $12 start. Blue Nordic. You get a set of four. They just have a little sticker residue. <clears throat> and I think these were five and three quarters, but I will double check. Yes, I'm correct. Five and three quarters inches. And they have a lovely blue onion pattern. J. N. G. Meekin, England, Classic Blue Nordic. I think 
the like dead silence. How many people in here with us so far? Uh, I forgot to open it on the phone. We got uh, five people. Five people. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> All right, I just finished sharing it out. Now it's up to seven. Oh boy. <laughs> Eight. Oh, we're climbing. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, hey. Well, we probably I probably freaked everyone out because we're on an hour later than I normally am. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Quintia. I'm showing five. Hi, Quintia. All right. Yeah, we got these blue Nordic plates. Just looking for a twelve dollars start. Very beautiful plate. They have that gallop uh, inner. Uh, I guess that's what you would call it. Kind of gallop. Yeah. Got it. It's got onions on it, and it's from England directly. Get the whole set of four. Four plates, one money. And that's perfect for um, like eclectic people that like eclectic dishes. Yeah. They have boho so cool. vibes. Yes. <laughs> scallops. Oh, I think scallops are nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the one seafood thing I don't like. Oh. Ugh. All right, baby boys and girls, I think it's a pass. What's your next one? All right, how about an iPhone case for $4 start? $4 start, it sparkles, it's black. Oh. <laughs> Spark, look at that sparkle. Oh my goodness, it's an iPhone 11 case, iPhone 11. <laughs> iPhone 11. 6.1 inch says from the 2019 version. Black and glittery. Brand new, never opened, still sealed. And it's a black sparkle. Everyone wants to sparkle something. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Still. I've got food for my dog here. Right? Oh my god, they're like rabbit and game. That one did. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Any interest, guys? iPhone 11 phone case. Four dollars. Very sparkly. Brand new, never open, still sealed, black and sparkly, glittery. Say wham! You believe it's a pass? Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> <coughs> Call the right person. I have, I have like food on my face. Hello. <laughs> Hi guys. Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to show here is some Avon stuff, just because I have them chill in here. This first thing is a pair of Avon clip-on earrings. Oh, and these are going to be a $5 start. Here's the little black box that comes in, and I'll show you why it's a $5 start. These are magnetic interchangeable um, clip on earrings. Here's what the earring looks like. Awesome. And this comes off, so don't be alarmed. So you get the black ones, and then you also get uh, like a metallic gold and a white. Oh, well, that's nice. Three earrings in one. And that's about how big they are. Okay. 
Feed the dogs. Oh, these look kind of cute on me. That's fun. At hey Mookie. Oh my god. Okay, so girl, I'm glad you're here. Definitely thought I had your information, and I don't, um, because I went to invoice the other night, and I was like, well. Mookie doesn't come around very much, and she just got the one crackle court, so she probably just wants it. So I was going to invoice you. Don't have your info, so pretty, 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 pretty please send me an email. And then um, I can invoice you, like, literally tonight and ship it tomorrow. So just let me know. All right, I don't see any interest in these clip-on earrings. So we're going to pass on the Avon clip-on earrings. Go. <clears throat> Next, this is another pair of Avon earrings. This one we're going to start at $3. They come in a box. And these ones are pierced. Yep, pierced. Thanks, Mookie. Girl, I thought I had it too. I was like, we know each other. Why don't... <laughs> Here's what they look like. Oh, they're pretty. They are. And um, all of these are marked Avon on the thing as well. That's how long they are. That is so cute. And these are either new or have been cleaned. Where I got them from um, cleans everything. So they are freshly cleaned. Beautiful little works of Avon art. Put that down here. There we go. And again, this is the baby. It looks like it's going to be a couple of paths. We're going to pass it around over to you. Oh, no, that's crispy. There's Gina. All right, um, I got a couple, a few 31 items. You all know that company. Um, I'll start off with this one. This is a pack and pull caddy. Uh, so that's what you do with it. It's like an organization type of thing here. So it's like got two compartments and you can hang it around a car headrest or something similar. So, you know, like you can hang it around the back, so it'll hang in the back seat and you can store stuff in it. And it is brand new in bag, but um, it was sort of my closet. And this is what my cat used to do to plastic before he passed away, bless his heart. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's new in plastic. He just chewed the pull out of the top of it. This is teeth marks. Um, and I'm just looking for an $8 start. 31 stuff is sometimes expensive. I've never heard of 31. <gasps> Are you serious? I'm in I don't think I have either. I used to sell them for a bit. I really like some of their purses and their bags. I have so many of like their large totes. I was just thinking, is it anything like Pier One? <laughs> it's a direct sales company that just makes like quality organization and purses, uh, like baskets. Yeah. Like this is really, this is something from them, like this basket here with like the. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, they just make all this. Hey, Brandon. <clears throat> okay. Hello, Rose. Let me give you a little wrenchy here, girl. Rose, you have been blessed by the hands that are me. You are not blue. Welcome to my family on over here. Nice to see ya. Hey, you. Can you put that in the back seat? Yeah, so you can wrap this. It says you can wrap this around like the back of your car seat for storage. And it has like two compartments. And it's new, never used. And it's like a black and like a dark gray. And again, you never use stored in my closet, and my cat has his teeth marks all over the top of it. Other than that, <laughs> never been used. Love that. that. That's what he did. <laughs> I 
can't help when they love plastic. Yep. He was addicted to plastic. <laughs> he found this he found these in the closet. Like and I didn't even know it. Oh gosh. It's it's great. Great. <laughs> I think that's a pass, so I'll move on okay. to the second 31 item. This is called a hang it up pocket. Hang it up pocket. And again, this is new and bad, never used. It does have a few teeth marks on the corner. Right there. But it's a big hanging pocket that you hang on your wall. Organization. Oh, what's your start? Uh, eight dollars. Okay. I think I went to a garage sale and they were they were selling that stuff, but it was too expensive, so I didn't buy any. Yeah. <laughs> Again, you can hang the. You can hang. Oh, you can put a um a hanger through the top. You can slip a hanger up there through the top hole there, and you can hang it with a hanger. Hang the closet or on the door. Hey, Laura. Anybody want to hang up pocket? Okay, so that stuff is for like in your closet um, where you can smash accessories. If you want to put jewelry in it, you could just hang it in the closet. Stuff you don't touch, like. Yep. It has a zipper pocket right here on the bottom. How big are the pockets? Like, what what kind of clothes could I put in there? Being a fluffy girl, I wouldn't put clothes in it. Oh, it's mesh, by the way. Um, I would say you could more like an organization. Like can't you hang it up on? You could maybe hang your toiletries in there. Maybe your undergarments. Oh, traveling. like while you're traveling. But it also has like, yeah. It's just like it's a it's a giant pocket. Yeah. That you can put in a closet if you want. And you can you can slip a hanger inside, so the top of the hanger comes out here. Like a clothes hanger. The, the yeah, yeah. Like in your closet or wherever. Yep. Yeah. All right, I can dig it. That's all you got. Pass. Okay. All right. Thank you. That's still warming up. So. <laughs> uh -huh. The chat's still warming up. So we got time. <laughs> I got my thinking face on. Okay. <laughs> um, I haven't thrown a stone in a while and they're staring at me. Um, I've got this flame here. It's agate flame or carnelian, as Laura calls it. It's a very big and beautiful flame, and I'm going to do a $25 start. And I'll tell you how tall it is and how wide it is as well. Oh my god, Gina, I didn't tell you. I So I got my last box of stones, and I was unwrapping it, and I got like a bunch of black obsidian. Oh, nice. Venus is 25. Didn't you just have a bunch of that, though? And this is four inches tall. I love obsidian. Never have too much. And about two and a quarter wide. Gina likes it. I think I have two to pick from, but the other one might be more. Or is it the same? It's the same. So I'll let you choose which one you want. This one has more um, color in it, and then this one has like more clear spots. And it might be a little bit taller. So just go ahead and sell it to Gina. 
Uh, yeah, I don't see anybody else interested in them. Okay. I don't know why I like the clearish one a lot. Some sticker residue. All right, sold to Gina for twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Which one do you want? The first one? Red one, please. The darker one? Yep. Oh yeah, it's super red. And if anybody wants this one, it's a little bit taller, a little bit skinnier. It's the same price, same material, just a different uh, kind of pattern on here. It's twenty five dollars as well. If you want it, let me know. Oh, is that like a jersey pocket? I saw or what? Um, I saw a little this... like a sparkly little spot. I don't know if it has a jersey, but it just has like it has like. Uh, like crystal like quartz like growing inside of it you know cool it's a window to the yeah. inside <laughs> yes all right now we're gonna do another piece of avon jewelry let's do this one this is what it looks like earring i have no idea oh okay it is a bracelet and no idea what it's made of. <laughs> oh, it's pretty. That is cute. How much is the bid? Oh, uh, $3. Okay. I love that it's seed beads. And it's got that, like, is it kind of like a shell or is it? It, something. <laughs> I, mean, I think it's supposed to be shell. Like a mother of pearl kind of thing. Ooh, this one is a little rainbow. Oh, cool. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really pretty. It's like a purple thing. Landine is in for three. Hi, Landine. Hey, girlfriend. What's up? Um, I have not gotten the pirate towers yet. I am still waiting for them to ship it. Uh, it'll be here eventually. Hopefully by the end of the week. I'm thinking it'll be here. Even though I paid for it last week. But can you see the rainbow? There it is. I can't see very well with my brain. If there is no other interest, let's give it to Miss Blandine. Thank you, okay. girlfriend. And if you are really into this kind of stuff, in case you missed it, I have these clip-on earrings for $5, and the head is interchangeable magnetic. So and I have, thank you, Blandine. And I've got these, whoop, Jesus, these pierced earrings uh, in the box from Avon that are $3 as well. So if anyone missed those and you are an Avon fan, just let me know, honey, and I will write you down. Sorry for calling you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> it just happens. All right, I will finicky with this. We'll throw Gina on up here. There you go, darling. Ooh. I have this one. Right. <laughs> um, this is going to be a $4 start. Hey, Maury. Hey, Maury. Hey, Blandine. Hey. Okay. Like be beautiful faceted glass beads in a gold tone tree of life. And with the rhinestones in it dangling off. I love how it sparkles. Yeah, so pretty. Beautiful blue. It's sort of like a coating. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. Jonathan Rosebury. What's up, man? <laughs> you missed a fun night the other night. <laughs> Me and Chow Chow stayed up until like 7 o'clock in the morning. Oh, my God. I she, I think she, she stayed up later than that, but... I went to bed at like seven. <laughs> I think then Amy called her, <laughs> so she probably didn't get much sleep. 
Anybody interested in the Tree of Life bracelet? They're pretty. Glass beads. Very sparkly and pretty. Oh, awesome, Maury. I'm so glad. <clears throat> Aw, yay. All right, I think that's a pass. Hi. I have these sweet little bird earrings, gold tone. They kind of look like cloisonne. I'm going to start them at $4. They might be hummingbirds. I was going to say hummingbirds, but then I'm like, what if... Hmm? I was going to say hummingbirds, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cute. They are unmarked. Gold tone. Is that enamel? Yeah. It's enamel and the body is has like a, a shimmery enamel in there. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's adorable. Perfect gift. Yeah. Let it say something. <laughs> Oh, so um, I just want everyone to know I will be invoicing through Square now, um, but don't worry, don't stress. It's going to come to your email just like PayPal, and you can use your PayPal to pay for it. Also, you have three options if you want your stuff shipped out weekly, biweekly, or monthly. Um, let me know when you get something. Otherwise, I do have a form that me and Tasha have created that uh, should be ready for me to drop in um drop in the in the chat for you guys to fill it out probably on thursday is when i'm thinking that's going to be ready and uh that that'll tell me like like how often you want to be shipped because i'm going to bill every week for ship you know monday and wednesday so depending on when you want your stuff you can just tell me and then i still also will hold all your stuff for a whole month as well anyways i don't know Hey, Laura's and it looks like Christy is calling it. Whoops. Thank you, Laura. All right, Laura's gonna get these little birdies. They're super cute. Hi, they Susan. Are the bomb the bomb dot com. Hey, hey Susan. Susan. <laughs> mm. Aw. That was mine too. Thank you. Oh. Totally here. Totally paying attention. <laughs> the paying attention. All right. Let's see. Um, man, I've got more to go to here. This is a leather magnetic wallet thing. And it goes like you can put it on your belt. You have a little money clip on there. Or you, I mean, you can use this as a money clip or you can put it on a belt or something. This is a $2 start. It is not March Genuine Leather, but it smells and feels like leather. I don't have anything to like put in there to show. Next some guys that don't like to carry that much, so they just need a clip for their money and a place for their cards. Um, I don't know how big of a stack you could put in there. You mean the money or the cards? And that's where it like still. I mean, this is a pretty thick stack. Oh wow! Yeah, it, yeah. it accepts that. So, all right. Any interest on this guy? Not yet. Otherwise, I will pass it. Might just be too old for What? 
said it might just be too old school. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Oh, that might be definite possibility. Maybe. We're gonna do this. This is weird. Also, I don't have a price for it, so I'm just gonna pull eight dollars out of my brain. This is a bag of pyrite cubes. You can glue them together and make your own powder if you want, I suppose. Little cubes. You can put them in like resin molds and things like that. Um, some of them are pretty small, and then some pieces are a little bit bigger, but none of them are like massive. A little. <clears throat> I don't know how to. Mm -hmm. my baby. That's her, my own. I don't think it'll stay up there. Anyways, and I might have another one of these, but I don't know. I'd have to look. So if there's a lot of interest. I think I might have another bag over there. I write cubes. The cube of pyrite. You can put them in a little trinket tray. You can put them in a bowl. You can probably make jewelry with them. Like, yeah, you can. I mean, they're pretty nice size for beads. Um, you could leave them just like this and just drill a hole in them and use them for jewelry. Or you could round out the edges just a little bit to get that circular shape everyone's looking for. Um, you do a lot of different things with them. For sure. But I don't see any interest. If you do decide that you want it, let me know. And I might have another one, so I'm not sure. Okay. Where'd Gina go? There she is. Take oh. it away, girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Um let's do the sterling silver pendant. Uh looking for a $15 start. And I am not sure what stone this is. Laura, if you're still watching, it's like an olivey green color. Is it just like a jasper? That's my guess. Really pretty shade of green though. Very cool. And it's a thick, thick guy too. Nice and open on the back. Pretty design around it. That was uncomfortable. And including the bail, it's about two inches long. Are you okay over there? Who? You. I'm fine. My dog might have made a weird noise. Oh. He, he came over like this. <laughs> <laughs> he is a weirdo. You're a weirdo. <laughs> Um, yeah, that is a weird green stone. I feel like she would say like some kind of serpentine. <laughs> I feel like that'd be her answer for her. Hmm. Okay. Light olive green. Ooh. Party. But I do believe it's always serpentine. Is it really though? You really think so? Or is it a Jasper? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I ask her, Laura, what's this green stone? Uh, probably serpentine. <laughs> yeah, it looks like serpentine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for confirming. 
Oh my god. Castle. Castle, my guy. I feel like Michelle L would love that. She loves green. She's been have a wick she's been having a wicked time with her migraines lately. I think it's green. It is definitely a light olive green, not brown at all. Green. Kind of like how they made it is not it is opaque. Completely opaque. There's like some brown lines going through the hair. Like a jasper, yeah. <laughs> okay, next I have this uh, Tarte makeup brand. It's like a new in bag scarf, and it's just going to be a dollar start. It's this pretty color, purple and pink. And it just it does say tart on it, but it's new, never worn. I wish you had some shape tape. <laughs> and this does look like it's a square shape. One big sheer square. And it feels like polyester, and it is 100 percent polyester, machine wash, comes up dry. And it does say tart all over it, actually. I don't know if you can see that. Really and if you don't know, uh, Tarte is a makeup brand. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, all right. They're really pretty colors. Are those are like. It looks like it's the flowers are made up of like sponges. <laughs> like they came out with their own sponges, and they were like, you know, what's a good way to sell this? We're gonna make a sponge scarf. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I mean, I'm here for it. I don't hate it. <laughs> okay, pretty purple. Yeah, really pretty colors. I think it might be a pet. One big square. All right. Put her back in the bag, and that was it. <laughs> Here. I need soft pretzels. Would you like a soft pretzel? That's you awesome. would like. You would like a soft pretzel. <laughs> no, it is a cardboard. It is a six dollar start. Probably because I really like it. Only one of the corners is super fluffed up, and that's this one. But it does have uh, holes where it was drilled, like someone had it like on their wall, and if. Uh, I can't sell it for six bucks, I'm gonna keep it. Pretzels are delicious. Hey doggy, you want a soft pretzel? Oh <laughs> look. Come here. Oh. No, don't go under the table. Up on the table. Come on. There you go. No, 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 no. Don't lick my feet. Hey, you don't you're being distracted. Alright. Who's into pretzels? I know one of you has got to be a pretzel lover. You're telling me some cookies, some onion, some cheese, bit maybe. I'm fat. I'm going to give you the I'm going to give you the bad Measurements are the most important. Would you like it in centimeters or inches? I just thought of that. Why don't you measure in centimeters? Uh, 16 inches long. And. Oh, 11 and a quarter inches. We got a. We got 16, 11 and a quarter. It's a pretty nice size. Oh, okay. Underwater. I'm underwater. No, like no, I'm back. back. I'm back. Okay, cool. 
Well, I think I'm keeping it, and I'm going to have a pretzel sign behind me. It kind of makes me excited. But if you do want it, it's six bucks. Next, I have... Let's do this. I'm going to do another Avon thing. Voices of cartoons can't animals. I don't know. I feel like you have to, like, really train your voice and drink a lot of water to do that. I guess for some people, it probably just comes naturally. And here it is. This is a bridal set. And it says, Love Everlasting CZ three-piece engagement ring and band set. Size 8. I don't know what it's made of, but it's by the Love Everlasting collection. I didn't test it for anything. But because it is a bridal set, we're going to start it off at 10 bucks. Oh, boy. So this is the shape. Size eight, big old CZ in the middle, and it's the uh, three. And they come together to form one. Really. What animal does that? Where they like come apart and they come together? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Maybe not. Kitty cat is back. How you doing, girl? I figured you were like, you know, doing your own thing, you know, taking a little break, and you still come back. And now you're not. Hey, how are you? Quintia is in a ten dollars. Would anybody like? Oh, would anybody like? Listen, we don't want life here. Knock on wood. Get that out of here. Bad juju. Would anybody like to come in at anything else? Good grief. And uh, this one is Mark something. Is it DDT or something? DRT? I think it's my VAT down there. All right. If there's no other interest. I don't know why I want to do the giggity thing. We're going to sell it to Quintia for $10. Giggity, giggity. <laughs> hey, listen. I think it's the next move. Hey, Lucid. Good night, girl. Have fun at your that disappointment. I got one smile, too. Dietitian. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Bridal set is what we'll call it. Holy smokies, that was my son. I uh, thank you so much. Here we go over to Gina. Gina's gonna take it away. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh wow, that's cute. Yeah, I really want this, so I'm pricing this high. And if no one wants it, that's fine. But I'm asking for $20. It is adorable. Precious little basket necklace. And it has like a, um, I don't know, it's probably like a glass, whatever piece on both sides. And it's like painted blue, and so is the chain. It has like brushed blue all over the whole thing. And the chain is quite long, but it does not have a clasp. So it's a pull over your head. Yes, you could store crystals in there, whatever you want. Crystals! Yeah. How cute is that? Oh, the bunch of crystals. <laughs> and it's, it's a little heavy, too. It's got some weight to it. Is it made of metal? No. It's three inches long, the basket part. It feels like it's made out of... Actually, it might be metal, yeah. It is. Yeah, like a painted metal. Beautiful, ornate design on both sides. Is there anybody interested in this? In the the holder necklace. That is really cool. Is that lab in there? No, it's just like a glass piece. It's got some beautiful flash. Mm -hmm. That is stunning. 
Yeah, super cool. Hey, kitty. Um, why would you put a plant in that? You could put like plant seeds in it, I guess. I don't know, white wood. You you crystals. Crystals. <laughs> well, it's crystal. Well, it's crystal. Like it's solid inside, too. You're not going to lose anything. You can put paint in there, a dollar, some money. That's really cool. We'll find a home for it sometime. If not, I'll be wearing it. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. okay. Freaking that was, awesome. That was my first one, I guess. Yes, I did, and I already wore it once. Thank you. Second one is. Okay, we got this uh, Monet bangle and color uh, start. I'm, I'm eyeball. I'm eye rolling you really hard, Chris. Eye roll. I think she said six dollar start. By the way, I literally interrupted her right as she said it. My bad. Okay, I think I heard it too. Cool. <laughs> I was like, oh no. It's already bad that I'm an interrupter. But I had to interrupt as she said her start price. Come on. Okay. <laughs> you can interrupt me anytime, Miranda. It says Monet M. Monet M. Thanks, Teresa. Teresa. Beautiful, seamless angle. Gold tone. Tracy, you're oh. suffering Monday morning, by the way. <laughs> huh? Oh. And it is on the smaller side. I probably couldn't tell the way. It is. And the inside of it is two and a half inches and all the way around it says eight and three quarters. I guess the okay size. So for eight. I mean I could probably squeeze it on there, but I don't want to get it stuck. <laughs> that hurts. Hey kitty. Hey kitty. I use that mate those two makeup palettes that you got me for Christmas like literally every other day. Aww. It's kind of insane. So um like super thank you so much. I enjoy them a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, stab my finger. I'm supposed to do that. You're telling me, boo. You're telling me. <laughs> Well, if there's no other interest, we can call it to Teresa. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe it's a towel napkin ring. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> Sold to Teresa for kit. Thank you, Teresa. All right. That was my two. Alrighty, I am going to show the stone carvings that I have currently. I don't remember if the order that's coming has um, some carvings in it, so I'm just going to show what I got here, and I'm going to kind of try to go from the least amount to, to, the, to the most to make it easier for Christy, you know? Alright, so the first one's going to be this little uh, adventurine adventure elephant he is an eight dollar by it now he's the last uh carved elephant i have like this and that's number one to get it you can either put eight in the chat or well one two three, but just put number one so i don't get confused put number one if you want this green adventure and it's, all of them are just to buy it now what was the start on that one 
Uh, it's just a buy it now of $8. Okay. Oh, okay. Item number two is $15. So if you want, just put buy it now stone carvings is fine. Um, number two is $15 and it is a bear. Reach for the sky. Got that guy. Looks like Maury got the adventuring um, elephant. Yes. Let me put that in, in the row so I don't know. Okay, so one, two. Number three is going to be this fish. He is $18. Um, he's supposed to be a goldfish. He can be whatever kind of fish you want. And he is a carved matrix with some quartz crystal. He does stand on this side, or you can lay him flat on his back. And this one's number three. That is so cute. Mm -hmm. Number four is eighteen dollars as well. This is a Pokemon, I believe, a TV. A nice little base. Number five is twenty dollars, and this is Kung Fu Panda Ho. One day somebody will snatch this cutie. They did such a good job carving. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, five. Number six is twenty-two dollars. This is a elephant. Oh god. I almost broke it. Hey Lana. Hey girl, hey. This one's $22. It is a little carved elephant matrix with a little bit of smoke over here on this side and it does stand up. Oh my goodness. That is He's cute, right? Cute. Well precious. I know. Hey, Lana. He's adorable. <laughs> Six. Number seven is $25, and this is a Wicked Punisher Skull. Did you say $20? $25. $25. I did not carve these, although I wish. So weird. Let's make it for you. And the last one is Baby Yoda. It's Evie. What did I call her? Eve? Thanks, Kitty. <laughs> Girl. And then the last one, which is number eight, is $55, and it is Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. He's the last one I got. And if 55 is a little bit too much for you, um, I do have a smaller one and I can uh, swap out the one that I personally kept for this one in case, you know, you really want a baby Yoda, but 55 is just too much for you. Let me know. I got Maury down for... And was there any interest in any of the other ones? I didn't see anything. Um, Lana, I have everything I need to carve stone except for a plant. I need something that's going to hold the stone. That way she doesn't slip and have an accident. Yeah. All right. I'm going to count this as my turn because that was a lot of items. And we're going to go pop back on over to Gina. If you do want anything that I show, just let me know in the comments and I'll comment back to you. You guys, so much. Oh, that was okay, Marin. Oh, you weren't even that long. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have this pretty copper colored lapis lazuli uh, bracelet cup, and it's gonna be a five dollar start. There is some like glue residue where the stone was glued in, and there is some minor wear, just a very shiny metal it looks very egyptian ish very what egyptian ish oh yeah yeah i was thinking uh celestial yeah that's 
Swirly Sun's on there. <laughs> I'm not positive if it's actually copper. It could be a very thin copper. It could be. Because I can actually see the, uh, the sun on the inside. See that? So it might actually be copper. Does it look like it's copper tarnish? I don't, it's so hard to tell. I don't see any like patina. I don't know what else it would be. There's a little bit of tarnish there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not positive. It's actually copper or not. But that does look like a lapis lazuli with a big chunk of pyrite in the center up there. The pyrite there. Yeah. Not really. Okay, it's gone. Mm, does it attract a magnet? Wait, is, is copper magnetic or not? One sec. It's not magnetic. No, it does not seem to be magnetic. All right, but I do believe it's a pass. Okay. And copper is not magnetic. Oh, oh, <laughs> Susan's on a fire. Thanks, Susan. Yeah, it was not sticking to the magnet. All right, we got Susan in a fire. Thanks, Susan. And it's lapis lazuli in there. And it very well might be copper. That's a beautiful piece. Yeah, pretty swirly suns. Very celestial. And it's flexible, like you can bend it. It'll easily go on your wrist. Feels pretty comfortable too. It's light, it's lightweight. Is there any other interest? Hey, Anna. Interesting. Hey, Anna. Hi, hey, Anna. All right. I'm going to go ahead and call it. All right. Hope to see Susan. Thank you, Susan. Second item will be these uh, amethyst earrings, and we'll do a three dollar start. Excuse me. Nice. So cute. Yeah. They look like they are. They look more like they might be, maybe not. Maybe they are amethyst instead of chevron amethyst. Hard to tell. But there's a little chip on top. It looks like it's carnelian. There's some cute little fish hooks. Some dangling amethysts and carnelian chips. Good night, Laura. Good night, Laura. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Good night. Farewell. <laughs> Avida saying adieu to you, Miss Laura. We'll see you another afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell me when you want to do our next stone auction. 
Pretend I didn't say that so aggressively. <laughs> that was a beautiful earring. Only three bucks. And amethyst is the stone for this time of year. Mm -hmm. February. Yep. There. They are more purple. I have my warm lighting on. Okay. Next week, the art game is going to be on uh, Laura's channel, isn't it? Yeah, unless. Yeah, well, I don't think Amy has the internet quite yet, right? So, yeah. Oh, okay. Hi, right, Laura. Good night, Laura. All right, I think these amethyst earrings are passed. Okay, and that was it. That was my cue. I feel like I interrupted your last one. No, you didn't. I felt like it. I don't even know what you were showing. Amethyst earrings? She was showing amethyst earrings. If you guys want me to put her back on so you can see no, it, no, no. No, let no, me no. know. They were only a $3 start. <laughs> amethyst with carnelian on top. Carnelian ship. Yep. Ooh, snap. Do you guys want clothes, by the way? Because I've got some sitting over here staring at me. Your Just let me know. Uh, uh, I'm not Tarzan. Um, I do, but I, but not like. Oh my god, that's so cute! Like they're not bad. But, you know, yeah, I could show them though. <laughs> this is a dollar start choice. These are so necessary. I've been staring at them for a while. You know me. The longer I stare at something, the more I want it to not be there, so I don't stare at it anymore. The number one is some kind of green thing, an amethyst. Oh. <laughs> you were talking about clothes. I know, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've actually, I think I've got uh, two extra large pieces over there that I think are pretty cute. I'll show those as my, for my second item, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'll, do these, um, I'll do these necklaces real quick, and then I'll show those shirts. This is necklace number two, gold horn chain, a cute piece of agate. Number three is on a suede uh, thing and it's got toggle and it is a arrowhead. Rainbow hope. Oh, and it's in for one. And it looks like it's a uh, copper wired arrowhead up yeah. here. Number four, we've got, uh, they could be seed beads, otherwise they're like super tiny black obsidian beads, is kind of what they look like, with, um, faux turquoise, not dyed howlite, but it's not real turquoise. I mean, from what my eyes see, I don't know. One, two, <laughs> I've only ever had one piece that I was strongly sure was turquoise, and so I sold it as turquoise. Everything else I've always been like, I don't know. Number five has a toggle. This one has glass beads and a tiger's eye. This one does have glass bead beads. I like that it has a mix of the long beads and round beads. That's cool. It is quite interesting. One, two, three, four, five. Number six is gold tone uh, wire wrapped stones. We got rose quartz, tiger's eye, green adventurine, red jasper, uh, maybe carnelian, whatever the heck that thing is. It's quite long. Like quite long. And the last one, which would be number two, four, six, seven, number seven. Here we got that. We got seed beads and then some kind of weird green chip bead. 
That's what we got. We got in and at one. Does anybody want to come in at two? The winner gets to pick first. You tell me. Doesn't this look like I have really long arms? Hug. <laughs> Everybody went quiet, so I don't know if I'm here still. Hopefully. Hello. You're so there. Oh, good. <laughs> she kind of does look like she looks mad and like she's holding a gun, but she's not. I need to clean off my shelf again because it's, like it's a little messy over there. Oh. All right, call to Anna and Miss Anna. Let me know what you want. She got six minutes to save the world. Six minutes. One and two, Tiger Eye Rock. And, uh, not moon goddess, Anna. Oh, Lord, that'll confuse me. There we go. She wants one, two, one, two, the tiger eye, and the wrap. Do you want the this wrap or this one? The goldy one. And if anybody wants one of the other ones for a dollar, let me know. Pretty please. She got herself some star necklaces. Second one. You got it. That makes for four beautiful necklaces. Four. Four doll hairs. You got it, girly. Thank you very much. And like I said, oh, my back. If anyone wants any of the other ones for a dollar, let me know. And we'll grab this. This is going to be a $3 start choice. Excuse me. $3 start choice, and you've got two options. First option is this beautiful green tank. This one is apartment nine, size extra large. Green sleeveless blouse has a little tie down here at the bottom. It's slightly see through, so careful what you wear under it. Let's see, Blandine said, Wrap the you want the arrowhead. You got a girlfriend. Thank you so much. I will put that with your little bracelet from earlier. Ooh, I must that. And then option number two. I'm going to stand up for this one. Oh, God. It fell down. Goodness gracious. I hate doing auctions after, like, shipping day because there's a bunch of trash around me that I haven't picked up yet. Every single time. Let's see. This needs a lint rolled a little bit. And this is a buyer. And it's a size of large. It would definitely, it would fit extra large though. And this is a black cardigan. I put you up too high. It's a black cardigan robe kind of thing. It does have a tie waist. But it does not have pockets. Those are hard to show. I forgot how to do it. Apparently. And I think I might have another option for you. I got this. So we'll make this option three. This is Liz Claiborne size large. Again, it would definitely fit an extra large. And it's just a nice blousey t-shirt. And that'll be it for this round because I have two pee. Size on black. Size large. Size large. Gotta go potty. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, and at four, Maury, would you like to come in at five for your choice, or are you out? I think it's because I chugged that coffee. Yeah, laugh about it. Maury, tell me if you're out, please. <sighs> Okay. All right. Go to Anna. Anna, oh. tell me what you want, please. All right. So, to Anna. Hey, Joss. Blandine, I got to look. I got to look still. Do you just want the black, uh, the black card again, Anna? Uh, Maury, did, did you want any of the other things before? Oh, hey, Dad. I didn't see you there. Okay. Maury, did you want the, the first green shirt or anything, or are you passing? He said yes. Maury said yes. She wants. Do you do you want just the first green sleeveless guy, or do you want that one and the like blue t-shirt? Hey, Lana. Hey, Lana. My phone was going ding 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 ding. ding. Did you guys know I learned how to first break? Only took 25 years of my life. Do you have to do it backwards or do you do it like you would do on other people's hair? I just I do it from the front, which is why it's like here instead of like here. It's hard to like keep it back there, so it's just closer to this. Well, you have long hair. This is the first one. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's cool. But I think I did a good job, you know. Yeah. Whenever I would do mine, it would turn out like really loose on the bottom because I'd have my hands up the whole time and trying to braid it. It's hard to do that. <laughs> Tell me about it. Tell me about it. All right, I gotta go pee and then um. Clean off a couple dishes and I'll be back, okay? Okay. I have some towers here. Um, it's six sixteen dollar by now your choice. Sixteen. We have some green aventurine and some natural howlite. The howlites sit a tad just a tad wobbly, but they stand. They're just a little on the wobbly side, but once they stand, they're fine. I can't show you on camera, obviously, but just because like the round, the bottom is like slightly rounded, I can't even show it. But so we've got green aventurine. One has this natural, these natural lines going through it, and the other one has a little chippy do there. That's actually natural and part of it. Anna, you want the Holly Dolly? Holly Dolly doll. <laughs> you want her for 12? <laughs> if so, let me know and you got it. So we get these green adventurings and these beautiful, classy natural highlights. Yay, she found a home. Thanks, Anna. Okay, so Maury wanted one tower and Anna wanted the Holly Hobby. -ish. Oh, I missed oh, Wait, Maury. never mind. First one was talking about the shark. Sorry. We'll call her. 
call her the Holly Hobby doll girl. 12, sold to Anna for 12. Thank you, Anna. Okay. <laughs> and the Howlites. And some have, actually, they both have like this. No, it's more this one. Yeah, they do have little quartz areas. They're pretty to look at, like little quartz area there. Has little areas where quartz is running through. I love that about Holly. Right there on the bottom. Polished quartz area. Thank you. So again, these are 16, your choice. Green Aventurine and Howlite. That looks like it's a pass. All right, and second item. I have these uh, silver plated vintage pendants, stone pendants. And these are a $10 start choice. $10 start choice. We've got, this one looks like a, a crazy lace agate with these beautiful almost mossy colors in there. It's like a, uh, it's like a dark grayish, and then it sort of goes into like a dark hunter green at the end. And on the top, it's more leaning towards like the mossy green color. At the top of it there, it's really pretty. These are a $10 start choice. And they're vintage. And there's the backs. And this one here, this one is more rough. This has like these little stars at the top here. And this feels uh, not as polished. And yeah, it's super plated. They actually say uh, one that says 95 on it, but they're uh, they're plated. Oh, that's okay. So the other one looks like it might be dyed, like a dyed. I don't even know. It's really pretty though. It's like a teal color. The other one's like a teal color here. Thanks, Anna. Oh, Christy's in too. Oh, you just added the number. That's right. <laughs> so there's the backs. Again, crazy lace agate with like mossy colors. Beautiful. And this looks like it might be a dyed stone. Teal color. The darker part is like a more of a bluer teal, but then like it's more of like a greener teal on the outside. And again, there's little stars above this teal one here in the design. Sorry, I didn't hear completely if it was silver plated. I kind of tried to remember. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, one's stamped 925, but they're silver plated. Okay. Okay. If there's no other interest, we can start calling it to Anna.
Now they're vintage, they do have like a little bit of tarnish on the silver areas. Rose, uh, yes, but they're they're plated because I tested them. So they look silver. They pol they polish like silver, but when when you scratch them, they're not silver underneath. But for their age <clears throat> and being plated, they look really great. Okay. Um, thank you. Oh, both, please. You got it. Thank you, Anna. I'm coming. I gotta put some water in my dog's uh, bowl, so just go one more time. Okay. Thanks again, Anna. All right, I'll show uh, another silver plated pendant I have. This one is a $12 start. Oh, now, wow, that's pretty. This, okay, so it's milky like agate, but it has like golden healer oh. colors in there. So I think this is golden healer. Okay. I love the red and the and blue. Then, yeah, and then there, the reason I price this one a little higher is it has these really pretty, it's surrounded in these amethyst and ruby or garnet. Uh, stones. It's very ornate for what it is. Yeah. So there's the back. This one marks it. So again, it's it's it looks uh it's silver plated. It's got that silver tarnish, but tested. It's not solid sterling. But the stone is just beautiful. Oh. <clears throat> yep. So it's got the. Again, Ruby is uh, less expensive, so I don't know. It could be, it could be like red rubies, and then two amethysts, and then ruby or garnet. Um, well, ruby really, is actually really expensive. Well, uh, it's hard. It's hard to confirm. Really I can't understand you. <laughs> well, hang on. Night, Maury. I know rubies are usually pink. Like most rubies are actually pink. To find a red, an actual red ruby is like kind of rare. Hi. I think so, those are more expensive. No. So rubies are an incredibly expensive material. Um, but you have to go to a jeweler to determine like if it's a real ruby because there are a lot of like fake rubies and things like that on the market. Mm -hmm. A garnet is a nice, it's a nice stone but it's considerably less expensive than ruby. I don't know why rubies are ridiculous, bro. It's oh, like one of the most precious stones on the planet. It's like sapphire, diamond, you know? Yeah, I think rubies are worth more money than diamonds. Wow. I see people mining for rubies like all the time down south and they act like, like it's no big deal. Like they're super common down there and they're usually pink. That's Maybe that's why, because they're pink. Like a red ruby is. Yeah, right. No, red rubies are rare. Maybe yeah. they're the more expensive ones. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a. I'm not a gem expert. <laughs> I just remember. I remember reading about it once upon a time. So yeah, I can't guarantee what these stones are, but three of them do look like amethyst. They have some cool places around here where they have crystal mines. Mm -hmm. And you get to see the beauty, which is fine. I don't remember if they took 
how much they charge. I know they probably do charge. You just keep your crystal key on. But I don't remember how much it is. There's like a place in Arkansas and a place not far from here in Oklahoma, I think. Yeah, I would love to go to Arkansas and dig. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. All right, we have Anna in at 12. Thank you, Anna. If there's no other interest, we can call it Anna. Okay. Ow, my foot. Okay. <laughs> I stepped on something. <laughs> Good night, Maury. Love you. Sleep well, my darling. Both Anna for 12. Thank you, Anna. Hi. Uh, well, Maury, you're going to bed, but I found more clothes. So wait, don't go to bed yet. <laughs> this is a $2 start choice bid, and these clothes range from XL to 2X, I believe. And there is at least one 1X in there. So... Number one here, we have uh, Singrid Olsen. It's a size extra large. It is just a bright green tank. For a second, I thought it had like a built-in uh, sports bra, but it does not. So this is number one. Number two. Number two is Dialogue, the new language of style, size extra large. It is a nice, cute little pink button-up blouse shirt. Nice and flowy. It's like a fuchsia. <laughs> Number three is another tank here. This is the extra large. It's by Home Free. It is a gray tank that has Iowa on it, and it says local in blue. Looks comfortable. Get you a little piece of my home. <laughs> mm -hmm. Number four is a size 1X by Catch Your Breath, and it is a super nice black blouse. Oh, I like that. It's got some designs here and a v-neck and it's not faded my camera just makes it look faded because of my lighting yeah it's fine. it is very black and the last one number five here this one is tulip size 2xl it is a halter style top oh that's cool and it's leopard oh wow hey that's like a club shirt right there. If I ever figure out the best way to show it. And it's very metallic and it's got purples and browns in it. It's really cute. It's just harder to show because it's a sleeveless tank. <laughs> Little halter top there. <laughs> no, that's what I got here. Any interest? I didn't see any. All right, who down the stock? Next time with the eye up, we'll look back up. Hey, Mickey. Hey, 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 Mickey. Bring me back to the 90s. Let's see. <laughs> And I'll be yours till the end of time. But you make me feel. Please put all XL inbox for me, Maury. <laughs> all right, girlfriend, I can do that. Does anybody want any of the others? So there's three XLs. Maury's got those. So there's the one one X. Blandine, are you still here? Did you want it? And there's one two X. I'm out of breath. Sheet. Trying to see. I thought I had. Okay. All right, Maury. Good time. Okay. 
Now I just have that in my head. Touched for the very first time. <laughs> Thank you, girlfriend. I will hang these two back up and put these three. Uh, Put those all over there. And tonight at the show, I'll organize them. We're coming down. This is a $15 start. You know what? Scratch that. This is a $15 bite now. So Maury got three XL tops. Then Blandine got one XL tank. One X tank. Mm -hmm. It's a blouse. Oh. Well, the next thing. It's got short sleeves. It's almost a tank, but not quite. Oh, okay. I see. All right. This is going to be a $15 buy it now, and you have options. Number one is this... Um, Labradorite heart. Oh my god, this one has the blue in it. Okay. I'm gonna show it. <laughs> I really like this one. Oh, that's pretty. No. How many lab hearts does a girl need? All of them. Need a 15. Never too many. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's choice number one. Uh, number two is this big moss agate moon. Oh, nice. I'm doing a bit of a clearance thing because most of these things were more than 15. Oh, hey. Oh, la la. <laughs> I got to make room for the stones that are on their way. So that's number two. Number three is this druzy agate moon. It's got a little baby druz right there. The guy. When Tia said Number four is this uh, carnelian heart. And it has a crevasse in it, but I don't know if it's. Neruzi. Um, wow, that's like a deep crevasse. I wonder how far down in there it goes. It's crystally. It's not like the most sparkly druzy I've ever seen. But this is number four. Oh, wow. That's so red and pretty. It's and one. down there, this crevasse, it is sparkly in there. Nice. And then there's the other side. It's four. Number five is this ocean jasper with the big uh, druzy on there. It's a palm stone. It's got that guy. Awesome. It's hard to... I can't see what I'm doing, but hopefully you can. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got number six, which is just a flower agate heart. That one is pretty. And number seven is another druzy agate moon. This one has a huge druzy. What's the biggest you got? <laughs> <laughs> biggest what? Is that a trick question? Because I got the big, if you want to know the biggest stone I have, that's going to be this guy. And he's $120. So not 15, but he's really big <laughs> and freaking heavy. All right. So Gina put 15 in first. What can I get for you? And then uh, Quintia has got it in second. Can I get the lab heart and the moss agate moon? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And I thought I had another moss agate moon up there, but I couldn't find it. So Quintia, let me know what you're interested in. Mm -hmm. On an off chance, it was the moss agate moon. I'm going to see if I have another one because I thought I did. Oh, and the biggest heart I have is this thing. Oh, nice. And I don't know what it is. They sold it to me as um, as blue goldstone, and maybe it is. It just needs like better polishing because it's like dirty. But I don't know what the hell it is. 
crazy. It's crazy town. All right, let me see if I have. I wanted one at the heart. Oh, Joel said I had that one. I meant a flattish, roundish. Hang on, guys. Because I'm so tired, I don't know what I'm saying. No worries. Oh, that's my last moss agate. I don't have any more moss agate, but oops. if you're interested in a lab heart, I've got this. Oh, sorry. Right, you're up at the ceiling. I've got this one. Ooh. No flash on one side, but the flashes on the other. All right. So. Hey, Michelle. Flattish. Flattish, hey, roundish. Hey, Ed. Um, hey, Ed. All right, I'm going to number these again. Quintia, tell me what you want, okay? Number one. Number two with the deep druzy. Number three with the big druzy. Number four is flower agate. Number five. She said number two. She likes that one did heart. Number six is this lab. And number seven is this. This is a flatter ocean jasper palm stone. Ooh. I've got this one, and then I have a more red one. Um, oh shit, I should have grabbed it while I was up there. And then I've got this one, which uh, looks more like red jasper, but it's ocean jasper. Ocean jasper comes in, like, all colors. So this is the last one, which is two, four, six, eight, number eight. Oh, my God. <laughs> and all right, Kutia. The red heart's yours, baby girl. And is anyone interested in any of the others? Didn't see anything yet. Huh? Didn't see anything yet. Yep, Quinty, I got you, babe. I got you. I got you, babe. <laughs> What's that song? I haven't heard that song forever. Send me and share. Sure. So, Jules, let me know if one of those flatter ones works for you, love. I'm not 100% sure what you're looking uh, for there. Anna says, it is 15. Yep, it's just a buy it now, $15. So, uh, each number is 15 bucks. Just let me know what you want. I thought she said she was on a plane. I was like, you're not supposed to be on your phone on the plane. I was, <laughs> I was legitimately scared for a minute. It's like, oh. What are you doing? Put these two babies away for Gina. Do you have any amethyst hiding back there? Ed's asking. And yes. we'll know, did you ship my other order already? Uh, no, I think you just paid, you paid for it like yesterday or today. I'm shipping everything tomorrow morning. And Anna wants the flower one, please. She wants to see the flower one. Hey, back! Flower heart. Here we go. Okay. And if you're not super into this this one, I might have some more up there. Uh, okay. The big blue one's not 15, but yes. What? And then the And she's wondering. Um, Quincy is wondering if you have any sterling. Uh, not right now, I don't. Um, Ed, I've got amethyst cubes right now, and then I have more amethyst things coming. They're just not here yet, but I've got this little bag of cubes. Okay. 
very nice. And this little bag of cubes is eight bucks. You want it, Anna? You got it. Anybody else? Don't see anything? Can I see the big blue one again? Oh, right. Um, and I'd have to look up the price on this one in my little thing. It's freaking massive. It's very pretty. It just doesn't have some of the shine, like, it's kind of dull a little bit. Yeah, it, it, to me it looks like it just hasn't been polished completely. Yeah, probably. Because it does look like it, it's just a little different quality. Because I don't think I have any more amethyst movies that I had. I've got some, I've got rose quartz and lapidolite, light. And lapidolite light kind of looks like amethyst, but it's, it's definitely different. And Anna said she wants the flower agate heart. Yep, I've got that one down. So here's this guy. Okay. She says thanks, but not what I'm looking for. It's huge. <laughs> hey, that would be something you could polish with your Dremel. Uh, it would like take the shape away. You got to be careful when you're like polishing things. Mm -hmm. It might. I think it would fit in the tumbler, but I don't have the. Whoops! I don't have the things to tumble it. Uh, any other? Ones? I've got pink opal and blue opal in towers. Um, but that's not usually. Something people want. I don't know. Apparently nobody wants them. I think it's because they're expensive. But on the off chance anyone in here is interested, and I'm going to show them real quick and go to Gina. This is a blue opal. This tower is 20. Nice. And this is baby pink opal, and it's 30. Yeah. She's a chunker. So I do have those two guys. Let me this amethyst. Back over there. Get this out of the way. And I'm gonna go back on over to Gina. If you want anything else I showed, um like a like a lab heart or an OJ uh palm stone or one of the Druzy Agate Moons, just let me know in the chat. And that's Christy. Here's Gina. <laughs> Thank you guys. Sorry, my cat is coughing. Oh, no. She hasn't coughed like that since I've been giving her C B D. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I was going to show some strawberries, strawberry quartz towers, um, and they're going to be in two different price tiers, uh, 12, 14, and 16. Starting bit or buy it now? Buy it now. Strawberry quartz towers, 12, 14, 16. Okay. Here's a $12 one. And again, these are, uh, Strawberry quartz, and they have some lovely natural sparkle all throughout them. $12 one. And then you have three $14 ones to choose from. This one's sort of lighter. This has some little uh, natural, like little kippies sticking out on some of the edges. That hey, Maria. Too. Hey, Maria. Hey, Maria. That natural sparkle of strawberry quartz. There's another of the $14. This one is darker. Oh, oh my god, a lot of sparkle in it. Don't fall down, please. Oh my god. All right, we're good. We almost lost all those big towers on the ground, and I literally would. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I'm, like, I'm sorry, I gotta end the live right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you see? <laughs> goodness. There's another of the $14 ones. This one is a little chunkier, a little darker, still has that sparkle. Uh, Christy's here too, Maria. And then here's the $16 one. It's 
chunkier part of the app. On the lighter side, has a few little natural tippies taken out. Um, Gina got that lab heart, but um, I'll look to see if I have another one that shines blue for you. Strawberry quartz is the fourteen dollar ones. The shorter one is chunkier. $12 one. And again, they all have that natural strawberry quartz sparkle all throughout it. Very good. Well, I think it's a pass. All right, okay. Uh, next, I was going to show these Angel Aura powers. Um, one is 12 and one is 14. Buy it now. Smaller one is 12 and the bigger one is 14. They're buy it now. They're Angel Aura, so they're coated in... Um, so they're, they're actually clear quartz powers, but they're coated in like a titanium that gives it that rainbow iridescence. Beautiful to look at. This is the $12 one. Quartz has just a lot of going on in there. Lots to look at. Here's the $14 one. That one's a little more milky at the bottom. Huh? Is that one's a little bit more milky at the bottom, but right there? Yes, it has more going on at the bottom there. Aura. <laughs> I think the, um, like, I think the Angel Aura is, like, the prettiest out of the Aura things that they do. Yes. Has, like, a little inclusion in there. All right, I think it's a pass, though. And that was my cue. All righty. Is Michelle P. still here? Well, hello, Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, wait. <laughs> you would like the larger angel aura for 14? Hey, Jonathan. You got it. Thank you. Where are you by now, the motherfucker? <laughs> Come out of nowhere, coming in out of left field. <laughs> he got abducted by aliens, and then they were like, zing, zing, zing. they let him go. They're like, I can't deal with this guy. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, I found, sorry, <laughs> sometimes I get carried away. <laughs> um, Anna, I found another lab heart that has some blue on it. It's not like the bright blue. It's more of like a greeny blue. Um, just let me know yes or no if you want it. And it goes, it's like a tealy blue to orange here, yellow on this side. Oh. And then this side's like orange. Ooh. Cool. Michelle P, I feel like I've got something that you probably like, but I don't know. We're about to find out. Oh. Gotta keep them separated. Yeah. All right. No problem. I respect that. You, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was going to yell at you, but there was no point. So this is, these are pendulums. And I have a rose quartz one, a clear quartz one, and a 
cherry quartz, cherry blossom quartz, blossomy quartz. Listen, I don't know. This is an $8 starch choice. And this first one that is rose quartz has a unicorn charm and they each have a charm on them. This is the one I felt like Michelle would like for her kid, but I have no idea. So it looks it's like <laughs> this. And this side has the rose quartz pendulum or the rose quartz stony baby. And then the other side is this unicorn with uh, some enamel on it. When I bought them, they said they're Tibetan silver. I don't know what the hell that means. So <laughs> here's the unicorn. Uh, uh, yeah. It's super cute. So that's option one. Option two is the like blossom stuff. And it has this symbol that I have no idea what it is. The Om symbol. Om? Om? Yes. Om? Om. Basically, yes. Om. Well, that's number two. And option number three is the clear quartz with the angel wings. And holding that stuff up Oh my my spine! <sighs> Ow. By the way, if anyone liked that lab part that I showed that Anna passed on, it's fifteen bucks. If you want it, just let me know. My spine hurts. All right, Michelle's on a date and she wants the unicorn. Hey Elizabeth, where'd you go? Hello, hey. Elizabeth. Yeah. Oh, my spine. All right, call it. <laughs> okay. Oof. Ow. Oof. Okay. I know you want the unicorn. Is anyone interested in any of the other ones for $8? Holla at your girl. Let me know if you want one. Let me throw it down. For a second, I thought you said to mother. <laughs> and I was like, wow, Michelle, Michelle P, do you want to be our mom? We love you. Rose Forks Unicorn Pendulum. And I've got some unicorns coming for you um, to, pick, to pick from as well. Pendulum. And Beck, if you're here, I have the coolest rhinoceros carving coming. It's badass, bro. It's sick. Um, I'm gonna show these this real quick. This is eight dollars. It is a sterling silver plated pendant with a little stony baby. If you want that, and this is a big chunk of orange selenite, and this guy is twenty bucks. I'm pretty sure I don't know his sticker fell off of him. So twenty dollars for this guy. Unless you want to give me your best offer, because I don't remember. But yeah. How much was the sterling silver plate dependent? Eight dollars. Me holler. Hey, Elizabeth. I don't think you're ready for this channel because your body's so full of delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. And I got more lab um, lab cabs. I'm gonna show those on my next turn. But my turn is over. If no one wants orange selenite to charge your stones with, and I'm, you probably can do something else with it. Honestly, I have no idea. Or the pendant. And we're gonna go on over to the Geninator, the Genester. Can we call you Genester? That's kind of weird, but I kind of like it. The Fancinator? <laughs> 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 Whatever you want to call me, boo boo. <laughs> Boo! Listen. <laughs> um, I have this really cool, unique agate specimen, and it's a $15 start. And it has lots of druzies in all different pockets. $15 start. Fancy pants, yes. <laughs> so, like, it's I get like to make it. Egg shaped, kind of, kind of not, you know, popular. 
And it's got a big cave in the front with some rosy little balls in there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got pockets all over it. We got some grooves there on the top. Oh, there's some more pockets. Some sparkly grooves in each little pocket. That guy's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, there's another pocket. Here's the bottom. Oh, it's like gray packet inside. Um, just just in that big cave, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just mean like how it forms like that. There's a there's a name for it. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, and the bottom has probably the prettiest, sparkliest rosy. Wow. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're in? <laughs> I got really excited. <laughs> Did I see a spidey in that cave? What's this? <laughs> well, I don't, I don't have anything like that, and I think that's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. It'll look really good on my shelf. I have a shelf. It's polished as well. Fight me, Sally. Come at me. Just kidding. Don't fight me because 15 is pretty nice. So if you, if you bid, I'm going to go out. <laughs> That's what's going on in that cave. <laughs> oh, here we go. That is pretty cool. Wow. And it kind of forms little round, great type clusters. Yeah. Freaking cool. Dick says no biting. I'm, I'm thinking about how you could cut that in half and turn it into like like the bottom where like the grape pieces are. You could have like a plate and then you could also still have like half a geode. Yeah. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Oh look at the little I might cut it in half and sell it in half. The little tiny ones up there on the top. <laughs> Oh, look at how cute. All right, sell it to me. It's mine. He <laughs> said, quit showing it. Whoa, what's it called? Does it have a name? It's just like an agate jersey specimen. But if a tarantula crawls out of that thing, <laughs> uh, I don't think a tarantula would fit in there, but maybe a baby. That is true, Jules. <laughs> Do you need some, hon? Because I've got actual... I have selenite and I have satin spar. I have both. So, I got you. What you need, baby. <laughs> Tell me. Well, thank you, Miranda. Oh, I suppose you're welcome. <laughs> you got stuff from me, and I really, really like that piece. You know me. I don't I don't buy shit unless I absolutely have to have it. <laughs> Last night you were like, well, show more shit I like. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's the earrings I was going to show. Um, I've got these cute little real cluster, uh, studs. These are a $5 start. I'm what you call a picky buyer. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly because, like, I, I don't have a lot of, like, extra money just to go run around. But, um... It's easier for me to get stuff from you because you also get stuff from me. And so we just, a lot of times we just end up balancing out and then like, you know. <laughs> yeah, so that okay. <laughs> so oh, it's no, no worries, Jules. I was just letting you know I have it. Gina taught me the difference between uh, selenite and satin spar. I'm educated. <laughs> Oh, and if you need me to ship you to a new place, make sure I've got your address or that it's in um, PayPal correctly. Pretty, pretty, please. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> oh, girl, I feel you. Are those stones? Yeah, they're real cl little clusters weird and they have like a um like a titanium coating on them to make them more uh rainbowy 
Well, like druzy clusters, yeah. Estrange. They're the real stones, so. though. Estrange. Oh, cool. There's the best. It's strange. I think it's strange because I've never seen it before. So I'm like, oh, it's new. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised Jonathan does not show up. That'd be a fun item to list. Jonathan, or to wear. Have your ears pierced? I think he has like at least one ear ear pierced, doesn't he? You wear an earring? Don't you wear like a diamond earring or something? Am I crazy? I could be crazy. <laughs> I could just be making <laughs> shit up right now. <laughs> I don't know. Jonathan left because now he's not talking. <laughs> we scared him away. I know I'm aggressive. I'm sorry. You should know I'm aggressive by now. <laughs> Oh, he's just streaking in the corner. Mm. <laughs> All right, I think it's a pass. That was my He's always tramping. He doesn't hang out with me anymore. I feel neglected. <laughs> Stop neglecting me. <laughs> oh, it's a disaster? Aw. Girl, I feel you. Well, hopefully they get back on the renovation, your stuff gets cleaned up, and you just absolutely love it. My um, my husband's aunt just renovated her bathroom, and it was because of COVID. It took like almost a year to like get it done instead of like a couple like months or whatever. So that got finished right before Christmas, I think. Um, and she's super thrilled. So hopefully it gets it for you, and you're all good. Sorry, Gina. It's okay. I, I just want to look at your face. <laughs> I'm guilty. <laughs> okay. Does anybody want to learn Spanish? Do you want to learn Spanish? Well, I got a thing for you that'll help you learn the Spanish. It's true. That's all I got. I don't have anything else. Uh, this is going to be, fifth, what did I say, 15 bucks? 10, 12 bucks? I don't know. $15 Spanish kit in the thing. It's going to teach you Spanish. You probably use your computer. That's what Christy said the other day. If you want it, it's $15. Learn your Espanol today. Okay. So I got that guy. I cracked myself up, like, probably unironically. It's fine. Um, do you want some audiobooks on CD? Does that sound exciting? <sighs> Two years? Damn, Jules. I'm sorry, girl. That's crazy. That's freaking crazy, the house. Okay. Okay, what do you mean it rains spiders? I don't want to live nowhere it rains spiders. You tell me where that shit is so I can avoid it. You ever see those pics on social media? OMG. It is like the whole atmosphere is covered in spiders. Big What? What? <laughs> Huntsman spiders infesting daughter's bedroom. Oh my freaking god. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's like scary. <laughs> How do you get Spanish out of the box? It's got like CDs and books in there and stuff. Okay. These are audio books on CD. CD books. Hi. I'm going to do a $5 choice between uh, these two right here. And these were from a library. So, like, someone stole them from a library and then donated them to um, Goodwill. So, that's fun. Four I love it. Maybe. I'm trying to get... I mean, <laughs> maybe, but I doubt it. <laughs> I know people around here. They probably stole it. <laughs> but I bought it, so it's my property now. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is Linda Howard, Prey, read by Abby Creighton, a novel. Yeah, so that's number one. Uh, I can read the blurb about it on the back. 32-year-old <clears throat> Angie Powell has always spoken her mind, but in the presence of Dare Callahan, she nurses an um, simmering rage. <laughs> Jeez. Three years ago, Dare returned home to rural Western Montana and opened a hunting business to viral Angie's complicating manners and the fact that Dare has acted Angie's out 
and given her a gift of butterflies in the process. And now the infuriatingly handsome Iraq war vet has civited away Angie's livelihood, forcing her to close up shop. They're gonna end up together. You don't even have to read it, you're welcome. It's a hot, juicy romance. <laughs> and uh, your second option, sorry. I would have read more of it, but I kept fucking it up and I felt bad, so. The second one is Robert B. Parker's The Bridge which looks like a western from the uh, front here. I'm trying to get this sticker off. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, you got it. Miranda's got people. I got people? You guys are my people. You're my peeps. <clears throat> Here's what it looks like, in case you're curious. And all the CDs are in there. I double triple checked uh, before I bought it. This says... Territorial Marshals Virgil Cole and Everett Hitch are back in Appaloosa, and their job enforcing the law has been exceptionally quiet. But all this is about to change. An ominous storm rolls in, and along with it, a band of night riders harboring a devious scheme. The good guys win, and the bad guys go to jail or die. Anybody okay. interested? <laughs> <laughs> books i love books okay don't get me wrong i love reading but everything is so predictable it's annoying the only thing that has ever stumped me when going to a movie was drag me to hell because they actually dragged the bitch to hell i was like no 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 she got away i was like figures and then the end of the movie is literally them dragging her down to hell like it didn't matter what she did she couldn't avoid it i mean you'd think because that's literally what the name is but you know scary movies Someone always gets away and lives. <laughs> so, anyways, anyone interested in either one of these guys? If you don't want them, I'll list them. No worries. When did you move to West Virginia? West Virginia, Mount Mama, take me home, country roads. Is that the song? No. Well. <laughs> <laughs> So close. <laughs> Nobody wants some. He's always thinking about Colorado. Hmm. Colorado? Yep. Colorado Rocky Mountains. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? <laughs> oh, bro. I forgot I was going to show the lab caps. Next time, next time. <laughs> oh my god, what's that? We got some lab Silver plated oh. necklaces. Eight dollar, your choice. Eight dollar, buy it now. Your choice. Eight dollar, no hollow. Eight dollar lab, flashy labs. Flashy labs, yeah. silver, silver plated. Comes with get you that flash, Anna. Anna, blue flash, blue flash. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> oh, look at that. She wanted the blue flash. Whoa. She found it for you. Look at that blue flash. The bottom. When did you move to West Virginia? I've lived in Iowa my whole life. My entire life. Really? You never lived anywhere else? No, I've only ever lived in Iowa. Oh. I've traveled to different places, but I've never lived anywhere besides here. Hmm. And honestly, don't want to. No offense to anybody else. I <laughs> love Iowa. It's my It's my home. And I'm like one of the only people I know that that says that about their home. <laughs> Most people want to go somewhere else. People, uh, my classmates and my teacher used to look at me like I was insane because we'd get the question: if you could, if you could live anywhere, where would you live? And we live in the Midwest, so everyone gives always the, the generic answers. Well, I'd want to go to California. I want to go to New York. Like mm -hmm. the typical answers. And I was like, I just want to be here. <laughs> Like, I'm like, yeah, I don't. If I could live anywhere, I would live here, right where I am. <laughs> uh, Jules, they are eight dollars. I just want to go to Las Vegas and see uh, Haunted Museum and Jack Vegas. Buy it now, eight dollars or silver plated comes with a chain. Flashy Labs. I think this job is giving me a complex. 
Why? Very complex. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I, ha I have some kind of like personality complex now. <laughs> I, know, I don't I know. I'm awkward today. I feel like I'm just like an obnoxious blabbering idiot. <laughs> okay. and that's how I feel too. Let's be <laughs> blabbering idiots together. Okay. <laughs> together we can do it. Mercury's in retrograde right now, so. Oh. Well, gosh. I'm feeling good so far. So many tools of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm not yawning. Except for I definitely yawned. <laughs> this one told me that it's eight dollars. I don't know if she can hear us. I think it's yeah. Zoom. You want that she... one on the left? Yes. Okay. Um, I think I took them off like this. Crap. Girl, that's it. Gene is fired. <laughs> can you just verify that it was this one that was on the left? The eye in the middle will tell you. Uh, no, you have them switched right now. Do I? Yeah, from what it was. But don't switch them right now. Let her let her pick the right one. Well, I just switched them. Oh, okay, yeah. great. Do you want the one with the middle <laughs> of the eye shape or the rounder middle? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the eye. Okay. Thank you, Jules. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> All right, was that my first one? Donatella Bonalino? She's a cat? I haven't been over there in a while. I yeah. pop in now. She's, I'm always on when she's on. Makes it hard to go over there. <laughs> I know, right? That girl's always on. When does she have time for anything, man? But, I mean, everyone says the same thing about me, so. Her name is so fun to say. How many people live in Iowa? I don't know, a lot. Millions? Probably. What do you mean, I'll look it up? I'll look it up. Population of Iowa. Thank you, Jules. Um, how many people are here? Tell me. 3.1 million. Oh, Nebraska has less people than us? That's interesting. Nebraska is 1.9 million and Minnesota is 5.6. Wow, it's kind of different. I got two more lab pendants. They're $8. Buy it, no choice. Same price. Population is also there. Kansas, or Kansas. Illinois has a lot of people with 12.6 million. Wisconsin sitting at 5.8. Kansas is sitting at 2.9. We have more people than Kansas? I guess that makes sense. <laughs> a lot of open area. Same with Nebraska. A lot of open areas. Which, which state in Iowa has the largest population? Oh, it's really Des Moines? I guess that would make sense, but I figured it'd be Iowa City. Des Moines population is only 215,000? I thought it was more what? than that. 215,000 people? That sounds like a lot. Well, for a, for a city, I don't think that's very much. Like, it's our downtown. Des Moines is, your, is my New York. <laughs> <laughs> With like skyscrapers and stuff. New York has millions of people. That's like a whole other world down there. Uh, not even the same. Now Albany is our capital. That's our city. Did Ed just ask me if I have a job? Ed, this is my job. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, no. Uh, so I've had very, I've had many different jobs. Uh, probably what like t twenty or more. Um, I've done everything from. Customer service, telemarketing, restaurant work, cashier. Uh, I was a CNA. I've done a lot of different things. Um, and I, my last job that I had, I was employed when COVID hit. I worked at the dry cleaners with my mom. And it was just a local 
owned business, uh, a family owned business actually, which I really liked. So a, a, a man bought his son a dry cleaning business and his kids took care of it, the business. And then me and my mom ran our own store from it, but we don't have like, we didn't have any like stake in the company or anything. And, um, I got, uh, I think I got laid off technically because like I didn't get fired, but COVID hit and they just didn't have a job for me anymore. So they let me go. Rose said eight. Which one would you like Rose? Thank you. You have Rose's info, right, Miranda? Yes. 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 She's new. We just met her yesterday. Oh, awesome. Swingenberg. She's the German. We got the, I don't know. <laughs> we got the big one with um probably obsidian and then this one has You want the long one. Raw this one. So this one? They're both probably. I'm probably. This has some amethyst, number of amethyst lab, raw lab. So that one that she's touching is number one. The one next to it's gonna be number two. This one she said yes. Okay. Okay, you're good. Thank you, Rose. A lot more going on. She likes the dog. I know she's got a dog. Ed, you're lagging. And, um, what? I was born in California, migrated to Oklahoma, and that's where I still have been since 95. <gasps> oh my gosh. When Miranda was born. Miranda, I'm so old now. Freaking, I never put the two together. <laughs> the right year of 1995. <laughs> <sighs> California stresses me out, but I think some places of it are probably not that bad. It's a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live there again, honestly. I, I feel like Ed, Ed is like having a full on conversation with himself. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Hello, Angela Marks Murray. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, Angela. Angela. Oh, and I don't know if Rose is German. I just know she has a German last name. And it's fun. Sounds it. Oh, poor Jonathan. It's 65 out there. Oh, my goodness. Poor guy. Wow, that's a huge eye roll. <laughs> uh, you're gonna get hypothermia, man. You better get inside. <laughs> this next weekend here in Oklahoma, it's supposed to be 20 degrees in the daytime. I know that's not extremely cold to you guys, but it's like, it's the daytime. <laughs> Am I still? It's like Am I still I'm having enjoying it. <laughs> Am I am I still in a tunnel? No. <laughs> okay, yeah, I worked my way out. <laughs> Don't worry, Ed. You, I mean, oh, you're like, entertaining me. Let's entertain each other. Oh man. Yes, to wear his fur lined to flip flops. <laughs> I bet those are fun <laughs> at the beach. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man. Flip flops are annoying. They like chafe in between your toes. Who who honestly enjoys flip flops? Come on. Be accurate. Wetter weather for 72. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Wow. Hey, Nate. What's up, man? Hi. It's 72. I wouldn't have been wearing the hubby's poncho today. Today, sweater oh weather. Was that your two, Gina? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> hey, Nate. Yeah, flip flops make you trip. Seriously. Bro. Literally, I'll go outside in shorts and a t shirt when it's negative 10 degrees outside. Not for long, mind you, because it's cold. Chuck. Cha, cha, cha. Hey girl, how you doing? Hey, really? Vintage vintage. It's 53 here in Miami and I'm loving it though. 53 is nice. Like that's 40 
to like 60, I think is like really nice weather. Anything more than that's kind of hot. Anything less than that's kind of cold. Okay. I don't know what, what I'm doing. Oh, lab calves. I know exactly what I'm doing. No stress. What's up, Vintage Vin, eh? Vinny. Vinny. Uh, Vinny. Are you Italian too? I love the Italians. What can I say? I always wanted to be one, but I'm not. It's really annoying, actually. I get that from my grandpa because he wanted to be Italian too. I always told myself I was going to marry an Italian. I'm, I'm not. I'm not married to an Italian. <laughs> Why? What's Sandy? <laughs> uh he's a mix like i am we're like we're like we're german russian S scottish ireland he's norwegian i'm i'm a rainbow of european countries hi <laughs> very german i got a lot of german in me all right these are lab caps hi to everybody who came in hello hello hi hello how are you welcome thank you for being here what's up Hopefully you're having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic evening <laughs> with your host, me. That's me. Okay. Focus. Brenda. Hi. Who's Misty? Is that the thrifter junker vintage yeah. hunter? Ooh, that like that's a cute rhyme. Love that. I subbed her channel. She's got a lot of awesome content. I like your content. Is that is that Misty? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice to officially meet you, Misty. I am Miranda, and I'm a weirdo. It's nice to meet you. Hi. <laughs> uh, Misty, do you still own a brick and mortar or did you close yeah. it? I can't remember. All right, Miss Misty, you've been blessed by the hands that are me. You are now blue. Welcome to my little YouTube family. And we know Nate is cool potatoes. You have been blessed. You are now blue. Welcome to my little family. Hi, and Angela. Hi. I'm pretty sure you're good. I'm gonna bless you too. <laughs> you have been blessed by the hands that are me. You are now blue and welcome into my family. <laughs> Anybody else need blessed? Don't know any. I'll be blessing the Vinny. I'm gonna bless you. You ready? You Vinny, you. you've been blessed by the hands that are me. You're now blue. <laughs> welcome to the family. <laughs> Yeah, we're a big family of weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just can't help but giggle. All right, I think everyone's been blessed. Also, I don't know how that happened. Not a preacher or a priest. I do believe in God. Love God. You know, believe what you want, though. No pressure for anything. Um, But it just happened one day, and everyone loved it so much that I never stopped. So, yeah. Oh, you just got blessed, honey. Don't worry about it. You're fine. <laughs> okay, lab caps. Focus. Oh, I just want to talk to people. Aw, Lana. <laughs> These are lab caps, and the highest bid on them once upon a time was $3, so they are just a $3 buy it now. And put the number in the chat if you want one. This is number one. So if you want this one, number one, put one in the chat for me, please. It's that. And if you prefer to not be blessed, I can always unwrench you. It doesn't matter to me. Um, the only reason I wrench is because that lets me know that you are A, a good person, <laughs> and B, um, you're a real person. Because we get lots of trolling happens. So in order for me to keep straight that I have your information and that you are who you say you are, I wrench people. This is number two. Uh, what was the bite now on the cat? Three dollars. One. Uh, uh, uh. Two. <laughs> Am I in a tunnel? You're, you're okay. Uh, Jewel P is asking what part of Iowa are you in? Jonathan, don't lie to me. I will whip you with my braid. The Des Moines area. Uh, Lana, Lana said she wants one. Here's number three. It's a little flash here. This oh, one's wow. like literally an eye shape. I love that. 
This is the last time I'm going to show lab calves. So if you guys do want them, get them. Whatever else I have left, I'm going to drill and wire wrap my shells. Uh, oh, there we go. These are hard to find. I promise they have flash. It's just harder to see sometimes. Is this one? And the Olaf back is hard to see. And Claremont. Never heard of it or have been there. But I might have driven through. I've stayed pretty close to the Des Moines area, like the surrounding couple hours, probably. One, two, three, four, five. And that's awesome. There's there's a couple other people that am ooh, that's like a beautiful freaking rainbow. Is it a butterfly shape? Oh what's this? Oh, I love you. You're so pretty. Ooh, it makes like a face. It's weird. Um, there's a couple other people. Hi, Cha Cha. Chacha's the Junking Data Girl, by the way, and she's awesome, Tatoes. She got me into this, and she's my YouTube mom. Northeast, Northeast Iowa? I might have driven through it. I have no idea. One, two, three, four, five. Here's number six. Well, wow, some of you are really hard to tell. Hey, Christy S. My light is so bright. Yeah, Christy, she's in Iowa. Christy S. is in Iowa. Um, Lego man, Brandon Savage. <laughs> That's not his, his YouTube name is Lego man of the Midwest. He's in Iowa too. He's actually the closest to me. This is number seven. This one is a thicker piece. Oh, Minnesota. Minnesota. I've been in Minnesota many times. I ship from Iowa. Um, and my shipping is basically, it doesn't matter what coast you live on, what state you live in. It's pretty much basically the same for everyone because I'm pretty central to the United States, which is cool for like me and you guys because that makes the shipping better. Like if you get just a couple ounces, it's about three dollars. Pretty standard. I don't know what number this one is, but I quite enjoy it. I think it's number eight. Yep, that was number eight. Two more. Number nine. Bona says, do you drill holes in those? I don't have a way to do it yet. Otherwise, I definitely would. Let's go like a little rainbow. I just recently got like a Dremel and stuff. I need um a, a drill. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, once you get the clamp. That will be part of that. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. <laughs> I mean, I can I can tell you in grams if you want, but I'm gonna need a calculator. <laughs> I do ship stones and crystals, so you know, and uh, yeah. probably doesn't look that that great. Ooh, that one's got a really pretty blue sheen. It's hard to. My lights are so bright. I'm sorry. Get off. Okay, so Lana wants number one, right? Does anybody want any of the other ones? And my spine hurts. <laughs> oh, you're from Illinois? So is Leanne. And excuse me, uh, I hiccuped. I hiccuped and burped at the same time. That was gross. I apologize. Um, I think there's some other people are that too. 150 people? Oh my god. That's really small. I live in a small town now. I'm like an hour outside of Des Moines, but it's easier just to stay Des Moines. Yeah, no. Um, all right, so Lana got number one. And are we passing all the rest? Just let me know. She hurt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That sounds so bad. It's fine. Yes, Leanne, something for you. She is in Illinois. She's also in my little my little YouTube family. And, I mean, it takes me an hour to get to the bins now. Where I was before was still a small town, but it was close to other towns. It's probably like a suburb now. But um, 
I was only like a half hour away from everything, but now we moved further away. But the kickback was that we got, we have a bigger house. So if we move closer to the city, it's a smaller house out here. We have a bigger one, you know, you go down a lot. Damn, Christy, that's a lot. Okay. I am getting Lana, baby girl. You got this lap cab. It's yours. Don't know why I called you baby girl. I am sorry. I'm going to pass on the other ones. If anyone does want any, or if you want me to pick you out the flashiest ones, because you missed the numbers, that's also okay. I will do my best to pick you out the most beautiful ones. Hello, Amy. How you doing, boo? That took a while. Okay, I'm going to do one really fast. I'm going to do a fast one. Quickie, quickie, lickety, slickety. Um, okay, I'm going to do Poe again, because he's so cute. This is Poe from Kung Fu Panda. And he is $20. It's a little carved stone. <laughs> I am, I feel like someone's going to take him home eventually for sure. There's Leanne's channel. In case you want to check her out. She sells on eBay and stuff. I think she just hit over her 700 listing thing, which was a super awesome congrats for her. Sometimes she listens, so she might be in here. If you are, hi, boo. All right, Maury's awake and she's in at 20. She's like, oh, I have to have Poe. Hi, Maury. Oh, so cute. Uh, rent can depend, Lana, and I don't rent. I actually, I actually, I have a house. I bought it. We bought the house, um, which was an interesting and awful, awful experience, which makes me and my, my, my husband, my boo thing who's upstairs and not ever want to buy a house again. Um, but comparatively, if you're gonna buy a house or rent a house or rent an apartment, really the best option is if you if you can is to just buy a house because it kind of ends up being the same depending on where you live. I think the cheapest place to rent is if you're in a crappy part of Des Moines in a studio apartment. And that was when I was like 19, it was like $450 for rent it was like the cheapest. I'd say it's pretty standard for it to be around like eight to 1200 range. Okay, and thank you, Maury. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? Gina, I'm doing Gina. Gina, are you ready to be done? I'm doing you right now. Can you feel it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Maury. Okay. I have this natural stone necklace. With sterling silver. I don't know how to spell kung fu. Class. K U N G F U. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> kung fu. That's not what I love. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks for yelling it at me. <laughs> I didn't yell, uh, did I? <laughs> it was really aggressive. It was, it was so at few points it had me. <laughs> Sorry. You were like, you were annoyed. I told you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> this is a twelve dollar start. It has toggle clasps with tested sterling, and it has these really pretty large vaults. Well, There's like two different sizes. There's these smaller ones and these three larger ones. And it's like a uh, it's like an agate. What cat? I want to see a cat. I'm so confused. Quintia is in a 12. Oh, thank you, Quintia. I think the cat you just sold, right? The Kung Fu cat? <sighs> Kung Fu Panda is a panda bear. Oh, he is not a cat. <laughs> oh, oh! We, we have gone off the rails. Is that a cat or a panda? Okay, he's a panda bear. He's Poe. Poe the panda. Kind of looks like a cat. <laughs> Hence the name, Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> I just, just, I didn't know Poe was the same thing. Sorry. <laughs> oh man. Angela, I'm just getting ready. I'm getting ready to get into to jewelry making. A lot of people in our community over here, they'll uh, they start selling like stone jewelry and then like stones and silver and stuff, and then they start making their own jewelry. And I told myself I'm gonna be different. 
instead of making jewelry, I'm going to carve stones. <laughs> so we'll see how that works out for me. Are those flat stones, by the way? Yes. I oh, and I forgot to mention that they have um, some pearls in between and gold stone, little gold stone beads. Gina, what have we talked about? Huh? <laughs> what, have, what have we talked about? I'm like, hey, I really need some flat stones to carve. I've showed these before. Well, I wasn't paying attention. You didn't say anything last time. Night, Nate. <sighs> I don't want to battle Quintia. Quintia is in a 12. <laughs> bye bye, Nate. Thanks so much for uh, for coming over, man. Bye, Nate. He, he's in. He's the one that's in New Zealand, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. Oh. And then M Michelle P is in Australia, yeah. and they've got lots of kangaroos, <laughs> and she's got a cute little daughter, and I really like her because she's real nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if a New Zealander has this kind of accent. I'd have to hear you talk. <laughs> <laughs> I am what they call a mimicker. If I hear it, I can probably mimic it. All right, call it to Quintia. She's in. She wants it. It's hers. She's LOL with me. Lol. You remember when people used to say that? You say lol. I've always just said LOL. <laughs> And lots of spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Angela's got draws and draws of jewelry stuff. Need to do that. No time. I feel you. No time. The New Zealand accent is a word. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go watch some of your videos and see if I can mimic your accent. Because I got Michelle P down pretty good now. But it took a while of like hearing it. I need the repetition. I'll see if I can do it. With her also, she has a certain tone that she uses and you you mimic that pretty well <laughs> yeah yeah well i think because i think it's because she's a lady too so it's easier yeah um so a baby kangaroo is called a joey <laughs> <laughs> that's right yes it's a joey little baby kangaroo uh, i know once upon a time i did like a gypsy lady and i don't i can't do it anymore i guess I, it was a it was a one-time soup I'm I can so do funny. like an angry sounding gypsy woman. <laughs> Would you like me to tell you your future? <laughs> that was bad. Thank you, Quintia. <laughs> it was so cool. Who's Krista? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Breathe. All right. Uh, we have a dyed Hololite necklace here. Twelve dollars start. Has a sterling clasp. Now that's party. Sterling clasp. The dangle says. ATI 925 China. It is, in fact, 925. It is a large toggle class. And it has two strands of a dyed howlite. Has some good weight to it. Well, Christy, there's a, there's a story behind the future, the fortune teller lady. There's like, um, we do like Facebook chats because it's just easier on our phones. And they have this like filter where you're like, a fortune teller and they have like a globe and we were just all in there one day and i think Cha Cha was sad about something and i wanted to make her laugh so i just started doing like this fortune telling thing and i literally told everyone their future and it was the funniest shit ever i loved it <laughs> i think you guys are in for another fortune telling i told lucy she was gonna get a cat and she like refuses to believe it <laughs> not really I never got that phone call, by the way. Oh. Girl, I'm sure you got a phone call on that third day. We just don't remember what it was. It might have been my dad. <laughs> He's the one who like, calls me. I was like, in three days, you're going to get a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> it was real random. Oh, and Ian, Ian is uh, Chow Chow's dude. I told him, I don't know. I was like, it's inconclusive. I don't see anything. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> I gotta get back to you. <laughs> Angela, no, I did not make these. Oh. These are actually vintage. Oh. Vintage. They're vintage. They're they're knotted in between every stone. I accidentally just kicked my dog and he growled at me hardcore. He's very upset now. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Don't growl. No problem. Don't you hate when your cat uses you as a jumping off point? <laughs> my cat goes all the time. If I bend over anywhere near their tower and they're up there, they just jump on my back. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? Because it scares you. I'm not like, like I'm picking up trash and not prepared for a cat to just jump on my spine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I can't move. There's a cat. <laughs> Stress. Oh god. All right, I think it's a pass. <laughs> I don't know what to show. <laughs> I got lots of stones. I got a lot of stony babies. Uh, I'm going to show the last of the stone and moon pendant. And we're going to make them $2 each instead of three. Since it's the last five I have, let's have a little fun with it, huh? All right. Oh, wait. Did someone say they wanted a rose quartz one of these and I told them I didn't have one? Because I think that one might be rose quartz. Oh, it's so close to being clear quartz. That one's inconclusive. Anyways, these are $2 a piece. It is a buy it now. If you want to put the number of the one that you want in the comments, pretty please. Number one is, in fact, clear quartz. And number two is either clear quartz or rose quartz. Honestly, I cannot tell. Number three is a soda light. I know I just got what Elvis in my brain. Number four is agate. Oh yeah, someone was asking last night. And I had someone ask like in the in the chat of this video because I these were on a bite now video a long time ago. Oh, it's okay. very pale pink if it is. And then number five is. Some kind of jasper. It almost kind of looks like a like a wood grain. So, a veneer, something else. Ready? So, I got those boo boos. Those boo boos. Listen, honey, it's fine. <laughs> I. If anyone needs lab, I've got three lab hearts left. So it's like your jam. I've got huge towers. Let's see. I'll show the last Avon thing I have, and then I'll try to find some more hard goods. I hiccuped. All right, I got a vintage Avon. This is a pearl necklace. I don't know if Avon makes real pearls, if they're all faux pearls, or if they're glass or whatever. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure they're plastic because they're very smooth and you rub them together. Still a nice set, little piece here. Here's the vintage class. We'll start this guy off at two bucks. Okay. And I will tell you how long it is, and it is tied in knots in between each one. In case you're wondering. I don't know where I got the tongue click from, but I can't get rid of it now. It's just stuck. It's part of my vocabulary. Probably some of the YouTubers you watch. Probably. It's I'm nine and a half inches it. long or 19 inches around. I love that thing I got from Cha Cha. It's amazing. I'm so good at showing things. I'm a professional. <laughs> you wouldn't know I've been doing this for a year if you looked at me. Each time is like the first time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, anybody into the vintage Avon pearl Nicholas for two dollars? And if you don't like that one, I had a couple uh, from before that I'll show real quick in case anyone missed it and you want to shniggy snatch them up. I've got this pair of earrings, which was three dollars, and it is the in the Avon box. These are pierced earrings. 
And the other thing that I have that was passed earlier that is Avon, this is $5, again, comes in the box. These are clip-on earrings, and the little center ball piece is magnetic and it comes off, and it comes with the white ones and the mag uh, metallic gold as well. And what I mean by that is that this really comes off, and then you can put it back on. And these are really cute on. Surprised somebody wanted them. Or just... So yeah, if you want those, let me know otherwise. That was my turn. Gina, are you ready? I am a captain. <laughs> All right, I have these uh, lovely um, picture jasper beads with some glass beads. It is doubled over, and it is a six-dollar size. Six dollars. It is doubled over. There's no clasp, so it is long, longer, and it has a combination of some beautiful picture jasper beads with some frosted faceted glass beads, which are these ones right here. And then we have some translucent brown ones. These ones actually feel like they're acrylic. So these are acrylic. So it's just a combination of some pretty brown beads. The picture Jasper ones are really pretty. <clears throat> And I can measure it. Be long. <clears throat> There's about thirty seven inches long. Anybody interested in a Jasper necklace? Oh, good night, Elizabeth. Good luck with your appointment tomorrow. Good night. Bye, Bye Elizabeth. All right, girly. Well, hopefully you get some sleep. But if you come back, you know, we'll welcome you back with open arms. Of course. Of <clears throat> oh, just the cleaning? Cool. Well, I hope they find no cavities. Nice meeting you, Vinny. Good night. Vinny, have a good night. It was a nice to meet you too. Bye. That was like a weird, a weird Italian thing. <laughs> I haven't heard a real Italian speak in an Italian accent in a long time, so it's a little rough. <laughs> You're in Italian. I'm in Italian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next I'll show, looks like that was a pass. Next I have this really nice gold tone um, Monet chain. Uh, it's gonna be an $8 start. Money, 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 money. My dogs are just tramping around in here. Little tramps. Tell you the length is on the shorter side. The dogs are running around. Yeah. <sighs> They're squishing the um, bubble wrap that's on my floor. <laughs> that's fun. Yeah. 
<clears throat> it's about a 16, 15 and a half inch chain. Yeah. There's the clasp, that's where it says the whole thing. That's cool. And it's been in excellent condition, super gold and shiny. Any interest, guys? Damn, everybody fell asleep. I don't know how you could fall asleep with all that laughing. <laughs> I'm about to now. You are? Yeah, we got, we got quiet all the time. I didn't mean to get quiet. I'm tired, too. <laughs> I got one more thing I'm going to show, and then I'm, I'm about ready to wrap it up. But I'll let you show as long as you want. Oh, that's fine. That sounds good to me, too. All right, I think the Monet is a pass. Hey, go ahead. Pardon that huge yawn. Huh? <laughs> What'd so you part, say? Pardon that big yawn there. Uh, go ahead and show one more. Lana, tell us what you're okay. looking for, girl. Let us hook you up. We'll get you the best deals of the night. You want stone towers? I got lots of stone towers. <laughs> <laughs> she got these stone towers, you know? Forget I got these for free bucks. Amethyst earrings. Good night, Amy. Good night, Amy. Good night, Amy. She got amethyst earrings. Oh, uh, by the way, everyone looking for dragon bloodstone and like the towers, it's out everywhere that I source right now. So, fun times. <laughs> I don't have any of those. Everything for nothing. <laughs> no, boo. No. Yeah, what if I sniff you? You sniffer? God. I'm gonna open my jams. I have this beautiful orange jade carved bird. Ooh. Um, the 28 start. Beautiful work on this. She's bringing out the big guns. It's very cute. I would say it's on a piece of cheese, but no. <laughs> it's on a triangle. I mean, I love the bottom. Even the bottom is cool. It's cool, amazing. Yes. Yeah. You do have Instagram, right, Gina? Yes, I do, Angela. I'm under Gina Fancy, but um, it's uh, instead of C-Y, it's C-I-E. Fancy was taken by me that I previously deleted, but it wasn't available again. I don't get it. No. <laughs> Good job, girl. <laughs> Good job. It sucks when you take your own name. I know, right? Three inches tall by two and three quarters. <laughs> I go through phases where I like just delete my social media. I'll start a new one. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I just get sick of social media sometimes. You don't have to delete it, though. I do. <laughs> I've had like three Twitters, three Instagrams. I still keep my business Instagram, though. So that's different. Jeez. If you're curious and you want to follow me on all the things, I'm literally the Rehomer. And if that doesn't work, it's the Rehomer Miranda. But I'm pretty sure it is the Rehomer on everything. And by everything, I mean YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And I also have a Teespring store that's like the Rehomer, I think. 
And then it, down in my description, I have a link tree, and that has the links to everything on there. Case you're curious. Um, I'm Angela, mostly active on YouTube, though. Mm -hmm. Angela, I don't post, like, that's, that's more my personal one. My business one, I only, like, have clothing on, like, my vintage clothing business mostly. So, no, I don't really have an IG where I post lately. I do post stones on my personal one, though. Just pictures of stones for the heck of it. I need help upping my aesthetics on Instagram. It's a little rough. <laughs> you do a great job. Oh, I feel like it's awful. It's not awful. What are you doing? That was my three. Okay. I'm buying shipping labels. Okay. <laughs> I have to find my face. I found it. Hi. This is my face. Hi. Um this is a ten dollar start choice. These were both uh forty dollars brand new they are audio cds um so they are cd disc cd roms dvd roms or whatever um this one is a lying uh, number one is a lion among men and this is volume three in the wicked years and it's by gregory mcguire and all the discs that are supposed to be in here are in fact in there i can show you if you want box is a little tore up got a hole down there and number two is the book of unholy mischief by ellie newmark and again all the cds are in there as well jeez just nosedived it it's all right my desk is not that far off the ground funny unholy mischief <laughs> what are the, they book, the book of unholy mischief <laughs> what kind of sins are they up to over there um, <laughs> How much would you start? It's a $10 start. It says, in a world of violence and intrigue, who guards the truth? It is, it is 1498, the dawn of the Renaissance, and Venice teems with rumors about an ancient book that holds the secret to unimaginable power. It is an alchemist's dream with recipes for gold, immortality, and undying love. But while those who seek the book will stop at nothing to get it, those who know will die to protect it. Do you have any unsold necklaces to show? Oh, uh, shit ton? What kind of necklaces are you into? <laughs> you gotta give me like a, what's your vibe? I need your vibe, and then I got you. And then uh, a line among men. Oh, it's a Wizard of Oz thing. Um, In the much anticipated third third volume of the Wicked Years, we return to Oz, seen now through the eyes of the cowardly lion, while civil war looms in Oz. A touchy oracle named Yackle prepares for death. Before her final hour, a figure known as Burr, the cowardly lion, arrives searching for information about the Alphaba Throp, the wicked witch of the West. Abandoned as a cub, his path from infancy is no yellow brick road. In the wake of laws that oppress talking animals, he avoids a jail sentence by agreeing to serve as a lackey to the warmongering emperor of Oz. And oh. Well, I got a lot of stone stuff. I can show you some stone pieces that I that I have over here. Otherwise, I'm not sure. I'm assuming it's going to be a pass on these. And for some reason, I really want to listen to both of these. <laughs> so that's exciting for me. I love books. All right. They're over there. I'm going to grab you some jewelry. What do we have? What are we going to do? I guess it depends on what I have. Um... We will do, I'll do a $5 start, because I think that's okay for the majority of the things that I have. All 
This is a five dollar star choice bid. Got all those earrings are cute. They're on the ground now. We don't like those anymore. They're dead to me. Okay. Number one. We've got this kind of clasp here. It's a nice thin gold tone chain and a big, super nice piece of green adventurine. Oh wow. Which is supposed to be one of the isn't isn't green adventurine the luckiest stone and it like brings you money? This might not be green adventurine. It almost looks more like Caribbean calcite, actually. It's not green adventurine. I think it's Caribbean calcite or the other one. It almost kind of looks like Laramar or yeah, Amazonite or Caribbean calcite. Amazonite. That's what I'm looking for. I think it's Amazonite. So that's number one. <laughs> Number two, I know my girl's got me. <laughs> Number two is this kind of a class and some very interesting things on this one here. Pretty. And I think this might be one of those uh, inset things where you can drop oil on it. That's number two. That was weird. Let's get some more boho, boho -y vibes in here. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll just pull them all out at the same time. <laughs> Jeez. There's a couple in here I think you'll probably really like. I just have to get them out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> here we go. Number three. This is a rather long chain. There's the, the clasp, and then we've got this heart. And this is dyed halite. That's number three. Number four is the most boho one I have um, sitting right here in front of me. And it is marked. And it is from White House Black Market. It has suede straps. So we've got gold tone chain and we've got suede. And then it comes down. We've got some different stone chips here, a little uh, dangle dues, another stone right here, and then some metal pieces. So this is very, very pretty, very boho. This one's gorgeous. I love that one. And that one is going to be number four. Number four. Number five here is this guy. Number five has this kind of a class. Here we've got all these little guys down here. Oh, wow. That's cute. And this looks like dyed howlite as well. Um, but it's, it's dyed more of like a Larimer color. Oh my god, I found another rose quartz necklace. Oh! Who's that person who wanted freaking rose quartz? I'm so sorry. I didn't think I had any. It's a really small piece. Andrew is asking how long was number one? I will double check for you in just a second. I've got um, just a couple more to show here. One, two, three, four, five. This one is number six. We have a big piece of jasper, maybe picture jasper, or a different kind of jasper. And it has um, citrine and clear quartz uh, chunks. What are those called? Chips? Jeez. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Number seven. It's not really both. Really I'll do this. One. Number seven will be the last one, and then I will measure that for you. Oh, those little guys are cute. Mess with themselves. Okay. Number seven is a conglomerate thing. I don't even know if this is a stone, but it looks interesting. So that's fine. So we got this guy, and he's just on a rope. Okay. Length for number one, coming in hot. Coming in hot. Is anybody in at five, by the way? 
Any interest in these guys? No, I don't see anybody. Angelo wants to know about the number one piece. It's eight and three quarters uh, long okay. for this one, for the Amazonite. And the stone is... So it's about 16 or 17? The stone is a little over two inches. What? You said eight and a half. Uh, I don't know. Now. now I'm redoing it. Okay. It's eight and three quarters. It's almost nine inches. Okay. So it's so like seventeen and a half. Seventeen out of nineteen, yeah. Or yeah, it'd be seventeen and a half inches around. Oh, it's also marked. I don't know what it says. Do you want to know what it says? Too small for her. Sure. Well, you could always get it and take it off that chain and put it on another chain. They'll have a really nice stone. The yeah. chain is marked uh, 925 made in Italy, but I didn't test it. 17 inches around basically 17, 17 and a half. Yeah, yeah, the first measurement I give you is um, the half size and then the second one is it all the way around. I got a thick neck and it fits me. Or it fits me like a little tight. It's but. about the average size. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a, almost a choker on me. I got a little wiggle room, but not much. She says she wants it. It's really pretty. Any interest on in any of the others? And then, Angela, I know that you're over on Lucid's channel. Um, if I don't have your information, which I honestly can't remember if I do right now, will you please send me your info? to uh, my email, you can do the email that's in the description, which is the rehomer Miranda at gmail.com, or you can email the fluffy one that's right here. This is my everyday email, and then my other one's my business work one. <laughs> you know, how that goes, fun times. All right, I'm gonna briefly show the other necklaces one more time, and then I'm gonna go back to Gina. And if you want any of these guys, they're five bucks. Number one. Number two has quite a long chain on it. Number three is the White House Black Market Super boho -y one. I can't believe nobody wants this. One. So pretty. I bet you Lucid would snag it up with you here. Is the picture Jasper on it? Yes. Nice. Number four is this one. You. Have any necklaces that were in the lot when you showed the arrowhead? Number yes, five. Five dollars each. That was number five. Um, I did, but I don't know where I put them. What were those? Those were the dollar ones. Yeah, I threw every. I threw it up as a discount today. Usually, my stuff's more than five dollars as well, but I'm feeling nice. I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, I got some $2 bracelets. Yes. Yep, they're $5 each. You want that with you? Yep. You got it. It's just so pretty. Mm -hmm. Let me get that to you. Those over. I 
think it was gold tone, wasn't it? So yep, it was gold tone with the leather, but Angela snatched it. Yep. She snatched at the house. <laughs> yeah, along with all the dangles. Yes, it's really pretty. Um, I should have told you guys what stones were on there. That was my bad. It's got picture bet, picture Jasper. Um, a beautiful agate, like a blue green agate, and then it has so it has two pieces of picture Jasper, the blue green agate, and then a big chunk of probably serpentine. Gorgeous piece though. Mm -hmm. Great deal. Um, so I'm gonna throw it over to Gina. Oh no! What did I do? I kicked her out. Mm, good job, me. There you go. <laughs> so if you guys want me to find some that I can uh, put up for like two or three dollars, let me know and I'll do my best to to find some. I've got most of my um, bigger, nicer, more expensive ones left. Okay. You know. <laughs> I've got this boho one. This is a dollar. Buy it now a dollar. If anyone wants it. it. Has this like brown faux leather cord. Lobster clasp. Has some bronzy colored feathers and some dangles. <laughs> Rose says yes, yeah, please. Whoever types in a dollar first gets it. <laughs> Or is she saying, yes, please, show me some $2 necklaces to Miranda? Yep. Maybe. Susan's in for one. All right. Well, Susan put a dollar. It's okay, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah, okay. Thank you, Susan. This necklace is yours. And then I'm going to show a um, choice of three different necklaces, and these are a $2 start. I tried to find some boho ones. $2 start. We've got a doubt. I'll show them separately. So again, $2 start, your choice. The first one is a dyed howlite vintage clasp. Dyed howlite in this pretty blue color with some pearls in between. That's number one. Number two was this bronze colored here, large lobster clasps. When we have three tiers of all these different mixed charms and beads, mother shells. Yeah. We have a, a shell carved uh, camel, I believe. Camel or elephant? I don't know. Not sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. More dangles, just a whole bunch of fun stuff on there. This would be good for harvesting too. Yep. So that's number two. And number three is a painted wooden bead, uh, vintage, painted blue. And then as we get near the bottom, we have some like, it's like sprayed gold. Really pretty. No. So I'm just looking for a two dollar start. Anyone can put those. Anybody interested in any of the necklaces you said? Oh, yeah.
The third one. You like the third one? That was the blue with the bowl. I'm sorry, I'm not reading it back. Okay. Two for the third one. Call it to Rose. There's no other interest. Sold to you, Rose. Thank you. Is anyone interested in the other two? Just let me know. Thank you. And that was my two, Miranda. All righty, ready. You guys ready to keep track of this shiitake mushrooms? Probably not, because I'm not. So, I've gone through. And... I found things. Things for you. Now I want you to know this is not an ordinary thing that I do. So I want you to feel honored and special. <laughs> and I'm only starting them this low because I've had a wonderful day. I've got to meet a lot of wonder a lot of new people, which is fantastic. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling frisky. It's after midnight. So here's what we're gonna do. And these are the rules. It's very simple. It's going to start at $2. If you're interested, put a $2 bid in. Whoever wins the highest bid gets to pick what they want first. I'm going to do these in a sequence. And I'm going to do six at a time because uh, I've got a pile. I grabbed everything possible. Um, that's next to me. There might be more stuff over there. I don't know, but I grabbed as much as I could. Um, is that I let go with at two dollars. So, are you ready? Hi, Anna. Is it just I'm necklaces? Gonna... What? Is it just necklaces or mix? Uh, I'm gonna do them six at a time, and the first thing I'm gonna do is bracelets. Okay. And I grabbed some shell stuff too because I don't know how. I don't know if anyone's in shells, so. I got some over here. We're going to do the shells probably first. I mixed everything together, so I don't know if there was any more bracelets. Okay. That, number one, stretchy shell bracelet. Number two, shell stretch in blue. And Number one, there's three of them available. So I'll just put those there in case someone wants more than one. Number three is like a pinky salmon. Cool. Number four is green. I have two of these available. One, two, three, two, three. And then number five is purple. Nice. And for shits and giggles, we'll make one, two, three, five. So number six is gonna be this one. This is a pink cord with metal beads and then a carved um, turtle made out of faux turquoise. That'll be number six option there. Aw, that's so cute. Cute. He is adorable. Yes. 
Oh my God. Any interest on these guys? And I want you, if you want it, make sure to bid. Let me know that you're interested. Um, otherwise, I'm going to go pretty quick so that way I can get through all of this stuff for you guys. All right. Uh, oh. Hmm. Nobody on the turtle? Susan's on it too. Alrighty. Anybody else? I gotta ask just in case. Yeah. If there's no other interest, I'm gonna go ahead and call it Susan. You gotta be quick. Quick, quick, quick. All right, I'm moving. <laughs> this is over. And Susan, pretty please let me know which one or ones are striking your fancy. Tickle in your giblet. I don't know what a giblet is, I'm sorry. <laughs> Purple and turtle one, please. Purple and the turtle one. Those are yours, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Let's get these other guys out of the way. If anybody does want any of these other shell, shell bracelets, please let me know. Let me get Miss Susan down. All right, we're going to do bracelets again because that's what's in front of me. Number one, this one is a uh, simulated turquoise. I did spill some coffee on it, so a couple of these beads are a little crusty, and I need to clean them. Um, but it is a big, chunky bracelet. Thick. So number one, there's the crusty coffee, in case you're curious. Number two is this guy. We got Tiger's Eye. Ooh. Agate. Number three. Amethyst. Uh oh. Uh oh. I didn't do it. Oh no, Sorry. What? This feels longer than normal. <laughs> Your phone die or something? I'm just tired. Oh no. Oh, I feel just excited it hated me. Sorry. Okay. What's the last one I showed? Uh, the oh. amethyst. You got the amethyst. All right. Number four is mixed chips. Number five is a blue dyed stone. The chunks. To be chunks. That's two, four, five. Number six. This is a uh, gold tone wire wrapped assimilated turquoise uh, bangle. Cool. And there's only a couple more bracelets, so I'm going to go ahead and do them. So that was six. Number seven is this new one. These little chunky green stones that's stretchy. And number eight, this is a toggle. Uh, picture Jasper guy. Apparently, I had another one. Cool. We got that guy. And then number nine is an amethyst, um, a different amethyst one. It's got a really pretty fancy clasp here. It looks like that. We got Gina in it too. Any other interest? And those are all the bracelets. So, All the bracelets are just, they're just gone. I pulled all the rest of them. Okay, speaking of that, I need to make sure Miss Susan has a bag. I'll put it in this one. If there's no other interest, call it to Gina. Miss Fancy. Okay, call it to Gina. Can you hold them all up together? Yeah. I forget. There's so many. Yeah. 
I cannot put that one on. <laughs> They're not in the same order, but pretty close. Okay, can I get the tiger's eye, amethyst, and the serpentine, which was that green one? You want the stretchy amethyst? Yes, please. Thank you. These three. Yes, please. Okay, cool. Thank you. Making sure I'm not crazy. Thank you very much. Is anyone, does anyone want any of the others? Jason wants the number nine amethyst. Is that the one you still have? Yep, I still have that one. You sure can. Alrighty, ma'am. You got it. Anybody else? We've got the blue guys left, a mix chips, and then the picture Jasper. Was I feel like I'm forgetting something. I totally could be. Anyways. Alright. Thank you guys so much. Now we're on to the necklaces. Which there are a fair few of. So we're going to do this in an orderly fashion. Number one is hematite. Has a barrel clasp. Hematite and it has a star pendant. That's number one. Number two is a chunk of sodalite on a string. Literally on a string. Number three. Oh, these are all tangled. Untangle. Hello, thrift you. Number three is on a string as well. And this one is a green adventuring carved owl. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can you can you hoot like an owl? It's fun. If you haven't tried one, I suggest doing it here. I'll just show you the pendant. It's fine. It's caught to everything else. You did say $2, right? Yep, $2 starts. Okay. She is frozen, but I hear her. Am I still frozen? Are you okay? Ooh, froze. Don't stress me out like that, Susan. Number four is Rhodonite. Hey, Chris, you. Rhodonite. Something like that. So that's number four. Number five is this rose quartz one that I thought I didn't have. It's got a little toggle and I haven't checked anything to see if any of these are silver um, or like like if the, the latches are silver or anything. There's that. And here's the bottom of it. Little rose quartz donut. One, two, three, four, five. We'll do one more. I'll do this guy for number six. Keeping her simple. Roses in it too. Anybody want to come in at three? What have I done? Did I tangle? I did. So this is on an adjustable cord. It's like a peak stone. And it is adjustable. Oh no, Susan! So those are our six options for this round. Okay. And I can see your dots. <laughs> All right, we got rows of two. I don't see any other interest, so let's go. Aw, good night, Susan. I hope you stay, but if you go, I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> There's not too many nights that we get to hang out with Susan too much. Okay, what are we doing? Uh, Rose. Rose, what would you like? And I can always show them again if you don't remember a number or anything like that. 
let me not. Number one is the Kentite star. Number two is the sodalite. Number three is the carved owl. Number four is the rhodonite. Number five is the rose quartz. And number six is a pinky kind of stone. It might be pink tourmaline, but I have no idea. You want the sodalite. You got a girl? And is anyone else interested in any of the others? Oh, I know you got something for me. Where to go? Maybe, maybe you didn't get anything from me tonight. That's why I don't know. Oh, okay, this is your first thing, so I can't find a bag for you. I thought I was going crazy. Okay. Got it. As is anyone interested in any of the other? No. No. Remember. All right, we're passing on the others. I'm shook. Shook. Got the hematite star, the carved owl, rose quartz, rhodonite, and I think it's the one. All right, if you want one of those, let me know. I'm going to throw this on over to Tina real quick so that she can do another round. And then uh, when I come back, I'll do the rest of them. All right, I'm going to do a $2 start. Get you some necklaces, and this could be your choice. $2 start choice. $3 start or two? $2. Hey, Chacha. Um, yes. Rose Jewel TV, you would like. Oh, oh, hang on. All right, so Rose snatched the owl. And then Jewel T, if you still want the rose quartz, that's uh, super awesome and fantastic and wonderful. Please send me your information um, and then uh, you'll be good to go, okay? <laughs> Just send me an email with your info. You don't have to tell me, right? All right, Chacha. Because I have to, I got to put, the only thing I have to do tonight work-related um, is I have to transfer a couple invoices and print out labels for shipping. So I have a lot to do. Yeah, take a nap. <laughs> There's number one, the rose necklace. And Jewel, once I have your information, I will bless you, give you a wrench, and welcome you into my little family. Here's number two. Here's number three. Number four, seed beads. And a little baggy for her. Okay. Here's number five. Yeah, Rose in it too. Thanks, Rose. That's number five. That's cool. Vintage vibes. So it's those five. Again, number one is the Rose with like 
That's my favorite. I think they're real wood. Wooden rose beads with orange in between and a pretty acrylic orange rose. That's number one. Number two is the green one. I love these colors. Some bronzy circular beads, some glass ones. Two tiered. That was two. Number three is this one. Wooden beads here and then acrylic. Yeah, I think they're all acrylic. Number Any four. other interest? Four was the seed beads, multi tiered. No. I accidentally stabbed my face. Lots of fun. <laughs> this is number five. Awesome. Not awesome that I stabbed my face. Awesome that you said info. Let me find it so I can bless you. I don't know why I enjoy it. I think it's fun. If there's another interest, I'm going to go ahead and call it to Rose. Alrighty. Number five and how it sits. Thank you, Rose. Five, four, three, two, and number one is the Rose. All right, Angela, I got your email. Thank you so much. And Jewel T, I got your email too. Are you ready to be blessed? Here it comes. Uh, it's coming. Jewel, you have been blessed by the hands that are me. You are now blue. Welcome into my family. And thank you for being here. One, two, and three. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yay. Misty sub. Also, go sub for her, too. I need to write it down, otherwise, I forget. I need to watch more of her content. I've been subbed for a while. If, some, like, if someone who is. Oh my gosh, hang on. <laughs> if someone's in here that regularly like watches and supports Misty, could you go grab her link and drop it for me, real quick? Um, and then I'll be able to sub, and then anybody else who hasn't subbed yet, go sub. Apparently she's a weirdo like me, and I love that. So, hey. I sound like this. Well, that's cool. <laughs> a little bit. I get him confused when we're in back chats. <laughs> yeah. Lucid would have been here tonight, but she has an early freaking morning appointment. The brat. Yeah, I'm going to go with her. Okay, I love her new setup, like how she moved over into like the other corner of her little house, and that I love all the butterflies she has on the wall behind her. Yeah, she has very cool stuff. That's one reason to go to her sales too, because you get a mix of everything. Yeah, she has really good taste. Like when I go thrifting and I'm trying to find stuff, I have no idea what I'm doing. That girl's talented. And she has a little bit of knowledge about like. The glassware and stuff Those like that. Are hard. That I don't. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna. All right, it. I'm subscribed. Oh wow! I want to make sure to at least return the favor. This is a eight dollars start. I'm gonna subscribe to Misty. Oh, I already am. That's right. Eight dollars start. This is uh, dyed howlites. Really. Cool. I'm usually, I'm usually late to the sub party. <laughs> <laughs> like, pink real tower. late. Pink tower beads. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Just trying to 
describe it. <laughs> I just pulled out my eyelash. Uh oh. That's supposed to do that. Well, my eyes was itchy, but I have like I have eyeshadow on, so I'm trying not to itch it. Mm, so yeah. I just like I gently like I grab my eyelashes and I tug on them a little bit, and that usually like relieves the itch. But yeah. I think I just pulled a little bit too hard, and so my eyelashes came off of it. Oh no! <laughs> I love that necklace. I know. Yeah, that is You've had that for a minute too, haven't you? Mm-hmm. What's the lowest you'll take for it? Because <laughs> I'm gonna keep it otherwise, because I like it. <laughs> it's so cool. It is. I know, I like it. It's very boho slash southwestern. A little bit. <laughs> Ask me next week, and then I'll have a definitive answer for you. Okay. I gotta be careful. Because PayPal PayPal messed up all my shit. I gotta really be careful. I know. I'm not too stressed. That's what what I'm gonna work on tonight is anyone who hasn't paid their invoice, I'm gonna uh, cancel it and resend it to them on Square. That way I don't have to worry about it. Smart. Gotta do what you gotta do. That's right. Yeah, Yo, you'll have to tell me later how the Square thing works if it's just another pay system or what. Yeah, there's a lot of like standalone businesses that use it. People who run booths at flea markets use it. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are aware of it, know what it is. Yeah. So it's not like a, a hidden thing. And it also protects the buyer and the seller. And it's more highly recommended than PayPal is. So I've, I've seen the little, um, the square things where you swipe at like Walmart and stuff. They actually mm -hmm. have them there. And well, if you sign up for Square, they send you one for free. Cool. Like it's a free account and they're sending me the, my little square thing for free, which the only time I'd ever use it is if I decided to get a flea market booth, which unless I start buying storage agents, which I want to, I'm not going to. Hi, honey. Hey, when you're down here, can you let the dogs out? Please? Pretty you please? Storage sure. units would be a good way to go if, because uh, you have Andy there to help you when he's free. Yeah, he's off all week. So this will be a fun week. Tomorrow's my mom's birthday and we were supposed to go shopping, but instead she's going down to my grandparents' house to work on the camper. <laughs> oh no. It's fine. Mm. I don't really have money for shopping anyway, so I'm gonna make Andy go to the bins with me. Nice. Well, I'm, I'm like out of hard goods. Like I've got some, like it doesn't look like I'm out of hard goods, but most of the ones I have now I've shown and we're like past, you know? Yeah, so it's like listing time. Mm -hmm. If anyone wants that necklace, guys, let her know. It is a really, really, really cool, cool necklace. All right, I'm going to get in here. And there's food in the sink because I didn't have time to dump it out. If that's what you're looking at. I was going to fix it when I got off here. Yeah, I just didn't have time to do it right now because I'm like... And the only reason I ran it out there is because I figured that's what you were making the noise for. I know. I love you. You couldn't hear me. I said, what the hell? Oh, my God. There's a bottle of food in the sink. What's that? <laughs> oh, it's a big <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Mild. I'm fine. All right. <laughs> Two dollars start choice. Necky laces with stones or maybe shells. This first one is <laughs> necky laces. You know, it's shoelaces, but for your neck. Uh, <laughs> without the well, tassel. It's a clear cords heart. Long metal chain. That one's number one. Number two. We got a gold tone chain with a little green bean there. And by green bean, I mean green stone. You're really going to have to. Fix, fix. HVAC. We don't have an HVAC. Do we have an HVAC? 
What's the eight track play? Tapes? I need a tape player. Do we have one? Number three. Eight track play tape track. Oh, that's like one number three and then number four this one has little plastic beads and then it's got a uh, glass and then maybe stone otherwise it's glass but it's really pretty so oh wow it's, it's super hot talk about ornate do we have that game no not yet oh uh, why uh steal from james one, two, three, four. Check down the door and steal his computer and take down Number five. I'm going to kick down his door and I'm going to take his computer. If he lives here, I could just go take it. You wouldn't okay. take it. You borrow it. I wouldn't take it. I don't ask permission. <laughs> I can't even fake be sassy. It makes me giggle. One, two, three, four. I Number five. <laughs> Number five. <laughs> And the last one, number six on here. This one's got metal beads and then big balls of jasper and a big metal heart. I mean, flower. I know words don't make fun of me. I am the set. <laughs> you will think that I'll be in the dark side. <laughs> you will know nothing. <laughs> I don't ever want to see that. <laughs> what? You made it look like you were about to like do a new app. <laughs> ah yes, come to the dark side. Let's have all new outs. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I was oh, born in the darkness. Oh, <laughs> Molded by it. Shaped oh, by the darkness. Different character. You are just a bat. <laughs> Oh, oh. Walker. Walker. <laughs> Rose, Rose said, show that you last one. Oh, show that last one again. <laughs> wondering how much mm. the painting in the background. Oh, my God. Uh, it's not for sale, uh, but I do know you. it is on eBay for, like, not that much. I'll show it to you closer that way. If you want to look it up, you can totally get it. I think it's a rather common painting. I got it for a dollar at a garage sale. Come on, Barbie. Which let's go, Barbie. This that one. one? Yeah. Yeah, it's mine. No, it's not. It's fine. It's up in the, in the game room. <laughs> that way the demon will be afraid of the painting. <laughs> Which probably has another demon inside of it. No, I really like her. It's a um, print. It's canvas print. You also like that demonic doll that we blocked away in the store. She's not demonic, okay? She just needs a hug. She needs somebody to love. Why don't you love her? If you loved her, maybe she wouldn't be so mean to you and you wouldn't be scared of her all the time, you know? Her, but holy fire. How about that? Like yes, fire, there you go. Blessed. It is, it's really pretty. All right, Rose is in it too, anybody else? That was almost sounding on too. that was really cool. Does anybody want to come in at three or is it just Rose? Just Rose, we can call it. Also, three. why? I talk really fast. Why don't I run an auction house? Like, honestly, why hasn't anybody called me? They're like, oh my God, you talk really, really, really fast. I need you on the auction. I'm like, yes, girl, I got you. You should learn how to rap. <laughs> I can rap a little bit, but it's not really that fantastic. I can't even do it right now. But sometimes I can do it. It's just not very good. Because you have to, like, rhyme, and my brain thinks too fast to rap a rhyme, so I can't. We'll write it out for you, and then all you have to do is memorize it. Is read it? Well, yeah, I can do that. Read it really, really, really fast, but it's not like this. Don't. Yeah, except for when you do it really, really fast, I can't understand anything you say. Can you understand what I say? I don't know. I can understand what I say because I'm the one that's saying it, but it doesn't mean other people can understand me. Yes, I can understand you. <laughs> But you should probably learn how to understand people that can talk really fast because if you don't, then you're just going to be left behind. Why? Give us your best auction call, Miranda. <laughs> I haven't done that in so long. I don't know if I can. Yeah, dollars, dollars, like calling it? Yes, call. You want me to call? $2, oh my god. I got two, 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 looking for three, looking for three. Anybody want to come in at three? You don't want to come in at three? I got two, 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 looking for three. That's basically what it is. Except for sometimes it's faster and it just depends on what the amount is. 
<laughs> I used to do it like a lot and then I well not a lot, Sometimes but I used I to do it periodically. But I don't do it every time because you could you imagine? I feel like it would be annoying. Like imagine me doing that every time you bet on an item. You would probably leave. Yes. You'd be like click. <laughs> All right, girl, what you want? Tell me what you want. What you really, really want. I really, really, really want to do that. If you want to be my lover, can't get mail. with my friends. Don't you bless forever. That's the way it is. I've only been living in Michigan. <laughs> Would you like me to show you them again? Because I can. Or I can explain them. We got clear quartz heart, green bean, uh, picture jasper with some peridot, Red glass, faux turquoise, and the flower one. Oh my god, why is my nose so itchy? Hi. Okay, we want the we want the last one for sure, and I definitely can. Number one, number two, number three, number three, number four. And the Numero cinco. Number five. I'm not this crazy all the time, though. Like, let's just get that straight. I used to be this crazy all the time, and then I was like, you know what? I need to be profesh. I need to be professional, get my shit put together. But I think I forgot how to have fun, and I would like to have fun. I don't know about you guys, but I like to giggle. And you can giggle and be professional. Also, it's one o'clock in the morning, so the later it gets, the more woohoo I get. So fun times. All right, Rose. Can I fancy anything else? Spangenberg. Your name is so much fun to say. One, two, three, and four. We got just three of them. You got it, darling. Don't know why I wanted to call you princess, but that's fine. Then you brought our stone peepees. You <laughs> what? <laughs> you want some stone peepees? Because I don't have any left. I sold them all. I had the peens. The peens are no more. Poof away into the wind. Oh, I got some of those magnetic balls coming, though. If anyone wants any of those other ones, let me know. Girl, what you mean? So this one was number four and number three. We're just double checking it. Yes. At Lucid Sale, yeah, yeah, I did. I <laughs> yes. Yeah, so the I am getting got um hi. They are magnetic stone balls, and I think these ones are like chrome colored. But they're balls, and they stick together, and they go ding, ding, ding. They, like, make the noises or whatever. They're supposed to be really soothing, and it's a really good um, for anxiety relief. I tried to get more, but they forgot to add them. So I only – I have, like, five coming. So I'm going to have, like, two pairs and a single one. I guess I'll keep the single one and just roll it around in my hand. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Rose. Next, number one. This is probably glass. It is a brand new necklace. Pinkish. Number one. May I the green and brown? I doth not know what that is, but I shall try to help. You want green and brown? Uh, this one's just green. I got that one. Is that what you mean, Anna? Number two is this guy here. Ow. And it is dead. How light? For number two, it feels really soft. If stones can be soft, they are soft, in fact. That's number two. Number three, we got leopard skin jasper. There's something in my eyeball. No. This one? This one, Anna? We'll figure it out together. One, two, three. Number four here. We got some serpentine with some adventuring, some seed beads, and some hematite. 
Got barrel class. Number four. Number five is this pink agate. No. Girl, I don't know what you're talking about then. And number six will be this one. These are metal pearls. And it's really long. Oh, and it has a name. It's by Coldwater Creek. How long it is doubled up there? Oh, yeah. Rose got that one, Anna. If that's the one you're, that you're talking about. Are you talking about this one? Rose got that one, love. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, those are the six. Anybody into those? But two dollars. Looking for two dollars. Yeah. Looking for two, 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 two. Looking for two dollars. Two dollars start bid back. Two dollars. With one, one, two. Knocked out. I knocked you out. Back's in it too. Well, Anna, stop coming and going and just like hang out with me. What the hell? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're not interrupting, you're right. That was very Valley Girl. <laughs> you have not seen anything yet, okay? You want to talk to Valley Girl? Oh. <laughs> yeah, TK. No. Oh, that would be fun, except for it hurts my spine. Rose is in at three. We got we got a bid thing happening. Oh, exciting. In three minutes, it's going to be 1 a.m. Rose is in at three. Hey, 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 Beck, you want to come in at four? Or did she knock you out? People are, like, really good at that. They're, like, fake. They, like, fake it punch. I don't know how to react correctly. I'm a terrible actress. I'm just a goofball. Also, my nose is itchy. I was trying to get through the rest of the things I had, but uh, I apparently I got more things than I think. So I got one more round here, two dollar starts, and I'm gonna hit it back to Gina, and she can go for as long as she wants. Cause she my boo. You're my boo thing. You're my boo. Back! Don't leave me now! I can definitely show you again, but I need Beck to tell me if she's in or out. You know the rules of this show. My nose is itchy. Number one is new and it is the last. Peachy colors. Number two is this really long dyed highlight. Apparently it's uh, on my head now. Love that. Number three is the leopard skin jasper. Number four is the Serpentine Hematite Black Obsidian Adventurine Baby. Number five is Pink Agate. Pink Agate. And number six is by Coldwater Creek Metal Pearls. There we go. Becca is out. We are sold to you, Rose, for $3. What can I get you? Springbird. Your name is so much fun to say. Where's my girl, Debbie Vitali? I love saying her last name. That one, the last one? You got it. Anything else before I go ahead and ask Beck what she wants? I need to undo my hair braids, though. It's happening. Thank you, Christy. All right, Beck, what can I get for you? And if nothing, throw a pass down for me. I'm just literally scratching my face. 
back, my beautiful back. Beck, have you seen Barry around? I feel like I haven't seen her a little bit, but maybe I just saw her like, I could have seen her today and literally not remembered. I feel like I haven't like talked to her in a minute. What is up? Hippie Winks Vintage. Your name is fun to say. I like it. I said I like it like that. I'm a digital game and chain. Certified, you know I'm game. I got all different kinds of songs in my brain tonight. All right, Buck, I need to know if you would like any of them. Please tell me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hey, Precious. Hey, if you wings. My Precious. Hey. Can you have number four? Uh, yes. If Buck says she doesn't want me. Okay, she said no thank you. All right, so now it's free game for everyone. Beck said she passed. Angela's get number four. One, two, three, four. Number four is to Miss Angela and Jewel. You want number three? You got it. Those are for you. That's for you. Angela. Angela, Angela. Honey, I know you have a bag in here. Where is it? Found you. Alright, so Angela and Jewel both got one. Let me try to get that written down here. Thank you, Lee. Um, what is left for these ones? Uh, these are three dollars. And we've got this peachy glass one that's new. We'll call that number one. Number two is this mm -hmm. long dyed highlight. <laughs> And number three is this pink agate. Stone necklace, stone necklace. She got the leopard skin jasper. And on the off chance you guys like big towers of stones, I do have some. And I would be more than willing and more than happy to show you some. For sure. <clears throat> so that's what I have left for the $3 ones. And if you miss the other ones, I've got these ones for $2. Let's see. So these are the two dollar ones. This one's number one. Move those guys out of the way. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. And then number six is this hematite with a hematite star. So if you're interested in any of those, those are the ones that were passed from the previous round, and they are two dollars. Okay. Why am I coming? I don't know. I'm happy, I guess. Hey, if you're happy and you know, I clap your hands. Nobody else clap. That's cool. Maybe someone clap. Dina, did you clap? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was muted. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to be in there. I'm myself. My cat's looking at me weird. Aww. Hi, kitty, kitty. Mm -hmm. Beck says the girl so. in the painting is creeping her out. Oh, she's not creepy. She the old piece says number four on the cord. Yeah, it's on like a rope. And it's adjustable. I think it's pink tourmaline, but honestly, I can't tell. Really pretty. She'll take number four. And I've got a good finish. Rachel? 
All righty. If anyone wants any of those others, let me know. All right, I'm showing my last ones and then we're shooting it. Oh, which number? Explain what it looks like and then I can I can show you. I can tell you. Is it the other pink one? Is the other pink one's on a chain? This one is on a chain. It's on a chain. It just has like this white thing stuck to it because I haven't cut it off yet. So that was on a chain. If you want me to measure it, let me know. I don't know what that sound effect was or what I was doing with my hands, but if you want it, let me know. Uh, okay, I'm gonna show the rest of what I have at the $2 start. This is gonna get a little crazy. I hope you're ready. Focus, pay attention or you're gonna miss it. Number one, barrel clasp, all different kinds of chips. Chip, 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 chips. Number one. Number two, shells. They just look like that. <laughs> Number three, we've got Mother of Pearl with Silvertone. And this one is by AMI. Number three. Number four, these are agates. This one's very old. Very interesting pieces there. Four. Number five. Hey, Quintia. Number five is uh, Tiger's Eye chips. Number six. We got a long shell. It's made up of little shells. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number seven. This one is black obsidian. Um, this one's hard because it's an interesting shape. Eggplants. <laughs> it looks like eggplants. They're really cute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number eight. This one has metal beads, shells, and a little bit of stone and some glass. And we've got back in at two. Quintia, did you want to come in at three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's ten total. Nine. Nine. There we go. Metal. These guys on there. And if you're looking for towers, me and Gina both have little towers. And I do have uh, Black Obsidian Towers as well. Number 10, the last one here. This one has uh, pieces of shell and wood beads. That's it. That is all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, 710. Hey, 710, been a while. All right, no worries. I didn't know if you forgot or not, so I just needed to know. Can you please show the black obsidian again? I can. This one's hard because you have to like perfectly align it. I'll do my best. <laughs> it's a little rigid. It's easier if I show it on a. My malachite off there. All right. I get it. You want me to show it properly? Let me untangle. <laughs> it's really, it's really pretty. It is quite short though. Would be a choker. There you go. Beck is out. And if there's no other interest, 
I suppose. We'll wait a moment. Oops, put my mouth right back on here. Uh, right now we got the bid in at three dollars, um, and the highest bidder gets to pick which one or ones they want first. Anybody you know a stone ashtray? Vintage. Vintage. Pretty sure it's alabaster. It could be honey calcite, but because of its age, what do you think, Gina? Probably alabaster. I missed it. Or onyx. Yeah. It's like onyx. That's what I was thinking. I do have honey calcite coming, and I'm very excited because it's just big chunks. They're chunky boys. So, Jewel, did you tell, did you want this one? Just tell me yes or no in the chat real quick, pretty please. I want to make sure you want it and I don't just bill you for something you don't want. You know what I mean? Okay. My back hurts. Yes, okay, thank you. I was really excited for that. Yes, sorry. <laughs> but that, that's good to be excited, right? All right, Miss Quintia, I believe maybe you wanted number one. And did you want any of the others? And just confirm if number one is, in fact, one of the ones that you wanted. It said yes. Okay. Did you want any of the other ones, love, or just that one? I think she just probably wants that one. Beck, do you want any of the others? Um, didn't you get something today? I thought you did, honey. What'd you get? What did you? Oh, you got that. Did you get like a stone too? You thought you got the carnelian. That's what I thought. Cool. There you are. Miss Beck said no, thank you. Is is there any interest from anybody else in anything that's left? The floor is open to you all now. If you need me to double show anything, I surely can. My spine feels great. It's really good. It's really popping back there. I'm gonna need to use that heat and pad tonight, Gina. <laughs> um, okay, be number four. Not good that you don't feel good though. Sorry. Number four. One, two, three, four. Here's number four. This one is a vintage piece. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And number nine. You guys have similar taste. It's quite interesting. <laughs> and then here's this one. I'm not sure what the stones are on here, but they're very pretty. It could be an OJ, I guess. OJ comes in so many freaking shades. It's crazy. Let's get this. I like the four, four. Yes. So you want number four? Do I have your info? I feel like I don't. Do I? Ready. Any other takers? I don't think so either. Um, I think you're probably from Lucid's um Lucid side of the block. 
we're good. So go ahead, just send me a quickie little email, please, with your info, and we will be all set, all good to go. I love what you down here. And thank you, everybody, so, 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 so much for um, being here. And hopefully, you all like what you got. Because that'll be good. All right, Miss Nina, you ready? Yes, ma'am. You remember like an hour and a half ago when I said we were going to end? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I won't be too long. I'm oh, no, you're fine. I'm running no out of time. <laughs> Bro, go as long as you want. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll start with this buy it now $8 blue event green candy. Very cute. $8 buy it now. Cute little blue event green stone candy. Did Christy leave us? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> She's slowly passing. You, you passing seem like them. you're getting tired. <laughs> yeah, I need to take a shower and lay down. $8, buy it now. <clears throat> Seven ten with fist pump. Uh <laughs> fist, fist bump, not fist pump. Something is up and down. It's fine. Seven ten, where you been? I haven't seen you forever. They just said it that I, they just they just didn't want to hang out with us anymore. <laughs> I'm not like salty about it, but I mean I miss your company, so you know. Cha cha with the Keith. Cha cha. She must be awake from her nap. Good morning. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> right, it's a God, yes. Fantastic noise coming out of my mouth. <laughs> All right, this is a clever contain clever container. They're another direct sales company, similar to Thirty One. They sell like uh, organizing stuff. So this is a no leak litter bag that you attach to the back of your car seat. It's uh, sealed and well, new in bag, never used. You put your trash in the bag and it won't leak. You need to hook it to the back of your car seat. Oh, sorry. $8 start. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. $8 start. And my cat didn't get to this bag that I can see. It's amazing. Whew. It's black. It expands. It's got Velcro. The hooky doos. You can attach it to the car. It's clever, right? <laughs> it's clever computer. Well, this is the first time it's been out of the bag, so I'm gonna try and neatly put it back in. Oh, hey, Maria! Thank you. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I wish I had a filter, but then I realized that where I would probably be recording if I had a filter. So I'm glad I know. Makes it interesting. Um, is this for cats? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just called a litter bag for human litter in your car. Hey, Jennifer. Oh, Hi, Jennifer. Like trash. It's a trash bag for your car hooked to the back of your, your car seat. Yeah. You can oh. crash it, and it's it says it's no leak. So hey, John. You know, girl, you're up super late. I don't think I've ever seen you here this late. Sorry, I thought you were done explaining it. Now I feel bad. I'm gonna have to. Oh God, sorry, sorry, I'm making lots of noises. Sorry. 
I'm an interrupter. I'm making noises. It's late. Just fire me. <laughs> Goodness. Hi, <sighs> <Right, Rhea. laughs> Don't don't don't. I'm dancing sideways. I'm in a great mood. Love. Gina, you want to go all night? Not uh, really. <laughs> she's like, no. I don't get long enough breaks. <laughs> Girl, I just gave you a super long break. I know. I didn't know it was going to be that long. Otherwise, I would have wanted to make something to eat. <laughs> um, I'm dead. All right, we can call it to Maria. Oh, you already are. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Maria. Okay. And I'm going to call it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Christy. Good night. <laughs> Thank you so Good much night. for your help. Good Thank night, Christy. You. Love you. Love you too. Sorry, I'm back out early. Bye, everybody. See you next time. Good night. <laughs> All right, I'll type it in. Have you guys heard of 31, the direct sales company, known for the organization? Pieces and purses. Well, I showed some things when the auction first started, but I'll show them again and some additional pieces. Okay, well, they're all an $8 start. They're all $8 choice starting bid. Here's one of them. This is an under the bed storage. It's called Perfect Fit Organizer. New in bag, never used. However, if you missed it earlier, my cat who passed away, rest in peace, Fanny, used to love plastic and he chewed on plastic. Those are his teeth marks. These were stored in the closet and he managed to find them and chew on the plastic. But this is a pink under the bed storage thing. Um, it has like a clear window so you can see what's in it. It expands a little bit, you know, it's like a rectangular shape to slide under your bed. Well, thanks, thanks Jennifer. You see the dimensions? It does not. Right, Jen? I want cheesecake too, man. That sounds amazing right now. I'll tell you how big it is. So it's about 21 inches long, but it's foldable for shipping. By 14 wide. Fold Jennifer, girl, what are you doing up so late? It's like 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> I hope you're all right. <laughs> So that's the first one. Number two is what I showed earlier. It's a pack and pull caddy. Again, it's got my cat's tooth marks all at the top of it. All at the top. He went ham on this one. It's called a pack and pull caddy. And this thing you can also wrap around your car seat for storage and back of the car seat. This is a choice, so this is option number two for the $8. Jennifer's in at eight, so we're looking for nine. And that's like a black and a dark gray. What you doing? And the third option is this hang it up pocket. You can put a, a clothes hanger in here, it pokes out the top, you can hang it like in a wardrobe closet. And put extra things in it. This is like a mesh zippered pocket in front here. You can put things like in like toiletries, undergarments, whatever you want. It's called a hang it up pocket. And it's gray and white. And it's called 
Charcoal Links is the print. So that's choice number three. So number one was the pink under the bed storage thing. There's a window. Number two is the storage organizer that you can hook to anything, like the back of a car seat. Not a trash bag though, like the first one, litter bag. This is like a storage compartment, it has two compartments there. It expands. You want me to open any of these? Aww. Jen, I was really hoping it wasn't because you were in pain. I'm sorry, girl. Aww. I gotta go find my heating pad. My bag is like <sighs> not fantastic. Oh, I'm sorry, Ashley. Yes, I did. You are good to go. Precious lavender buttons. Buttons is fun. That's a fun word to say. Uh, Jen would like one and two. Thank you, Jennifer. Do you have any more of them? Um, I have, no, not like duplicates of those. Oh, okay. Because I think um, Rose might, might have been interested in number two. No, I'm sorry. So, uh, Jennifer, these two are yours. Thank you. I do have number three left to hang it up pocket. Uh, she should have you. You have Jen's info, don't you? Yep. Okay, I thought so. I have it uh, from um, Mare. <laughs> All right, awesome. Thank you. Um, I have next. I have these plastic document boxes. I think. I wonder if these were a clever container. I can't remember where I got these. I feel like these were from a sales company too. <laughs> Seven ten. No, I don't. Hi, Lana. You've ever bought anything for me? Seven ten. Seven ten likes coins, silver, and gold. I remember them asking for silver hoops at one time. Yep. So in here you get five. Yep, you get five different colored plastic document boxes that look just like that. And the dimensions are twelve by nine, and they're going to be three and a quarter inches tall. Thanks, Beck. The Bexter is on the prowl. Whitmore brands. They have some weight to them. I feel like they're going to be sturdy. <laughs> uh, 710. <laughs> Coins with a C. Coins. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to start calling down the back. Do you have any more of those? No. Mm. Sorry. Call the back. <laughs> Take you back. Aw, praying for Mike. Oh, percent. <laughs> Back. Oh, thanks, Beck. <laughs> <laughs> that's so. I think that's all I have for organization things. I'll just look after, but. 
<coughs> excuse me. Um, I don't know if I caught if I if I if if I if I caught out, but I said that's so tweet back. I was just gonna use them to order them. <laughs> I still have this new in bag, never used Tarte makeup brand um, polyester sheer scarf for a dollar. <laughs> no prob, Beck. <laughs> it's a full square. If anyone wants that, it's a dollar. Tarte, the makeup brand, it says Tarte all over it. It's a pretty shade of purple and pink. We're looking for a dollar. Anybody want to come in for a dollar? Dollar, 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 I got Jennifer at a dollar. Looking for two dollars. Anybody want to come in at two, 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 two dollars? I got a dollar looking for two. See, could you imagine if I did that all the time? It'd be so annoying. <laughs> it is fun, though. It's a full-size square scarf. And it came in this bag from Tarte. That plastic is very annoying. <laughs> green, 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 green. Stop. <laughs> All right, then call it to Jen. Sold to Jen. <laughs> Oh, not what she meant. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to help. I'm a, I'm a little helpful. Like, only a little bit. Like a smidge. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. Dang, Lana, you might need to refresh. It's a, it's like a square scarf, kind of, was, is what it was. Yeah, it was polyester. It was sheer polyester material. I still have this iPhone 11 um, phone case. Where did my phone go? It's black and glittery. iPhone 11 sparkly phone case. Four dollars. I'll show you how sparkly it is. Look at that. Look at the glitter. <laughs> Wow. New in box, never used, still sealed. It's like a nice phone case. Won't you take me to a funky town? Oh, won't you take me to funky town? Sorry. <laughs> Well, if you're leaving now, Jen, have a safe trip, all right? <laughs> Seven ten. <laughs> what would you say? Uh, we don't allow pictures if they're inappropriate. But if you want to send like cute pictures of your pets, that's cool. Also, if you make like cool things, send us pictures because we like to see that shit. Like Dina Designs makes really cool. Like she like paints wraps like you dress. Like picture. <laughs> and I love it. I got your info though. Thanks. <laughs> Send me the picture. What's the picture? I know I didn't get a picture. They were busted. <laughs> and I still have these uh these onion blue Nordic plates for twelve dollars for the Quad. Did you just say onion? Huh? Onion. 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 Now your onion plates. You know when you need those onions, you put your onions on there. They look like they're for teacups. <laughs> I knew we should be still here. Oh, good night, Angela. Good 
Good night, Angela. Thank you so much for coming in. It was a pleasure. And I hope to see you again. Mm -hmm. All right, I think those are a pass. Still have the bird for 28. I don't even know you left. <laughs> Seven times that I was in a tunnel. Oh. I don't want to be in a tunnel. You were so often, I, I don't even like notice sometimes. <laughs> so much. <laughs> <laughs> I still have these McDonald's plates. These are seven dollars each. They're from nineteen seventy-seven. This will be the last wow. one. She has McDonald's plates from nineteen seventies. I got Ronald McDonald on them. Two spring ones left. Got two summer ones left. They're like season. Weird. And one fall one left. Yep, 1977. They're $7 a piece. Melamine. It says 1977 at the bottom there. On all of them. I had, the, I had two of each one, but some people already bought some. So this is what I have left. Two summers. Did you did you show these on my channel before? I think it was on Lucid's. I was like, I've never seen these before in my life. <laughs> yeah, because when she was like, bring vintage, I was like scrambling to find more hard goods. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. So uh, I think that'll be it for the night. Are you sure? Yeah. Yep. All righty. That's all you wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for you all being here. If you have not yet, make sure to hit the thumbs up video. If you're not subscribed to me and my pal Gina, make sure you sub. Also, I love you guys. I had a blast tonight. Thank you so, 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 so much. Uh, keep Mike, Jen's daughter's husband, in your prayers. He's having some surgery in a few hours. And uh, I will see you guys Thursday. Thursday morning for the next listed challenge. And then Thursday, there might be two auctions. And I might pop up tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. But, uh, yeah, that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. See you later. <laughs>